big battles. Wilkie, oh. Cochin. Well, it's and, Cochin and Thompson. Yes. Absolute ripper. And we're underway at Amy Stadium. Jacob's initial palm down. Locked in, my ball. You heard the umpire Thanks, tell the story. Stefan Grun, Jeff Dalgleish, Stuart Wen, the umpires today, and that's the voice of Stefan Grun you heard. It looks like Van Burlow has gone over to uh, Cochin now. Speak of the devil, Van Burlow. It's the first inside 50. Taylor Walker, Grant slipped. slipped. Taylor Walker, first kick across the face. Petrenko read it well. Well, Wayne, both Richmond defenders slipped. Now we know the course he plays on dangerously, but it's okay. And it'll be Thompson it's coming off in that 51 possession game last week to start well. Well, he's the man of the moment, there's no doubt in that. But uh, Damien Harwick will be asking the runner to get out to those Richmond defenders because they've both slipped over, Ellis. You know what it's like? Doesn't matter how hard the ground is, you put the long sprigs in when you're playing down back. And there's the perfect start we talked of. And Spud, to follow on from what you were saying about the Richmond defenders uh, slipping over, it is critical that near perfect conditions to just see one player going down there, that might have been post, then yeah, Rance goes down as well. You just can't afford to do that because you're out of the contest and you give good players time and space, and that is no good. Think about the surface here at uh, Amy Stadium. One of the best in the competition, but it is on the lush side, so you'd certainly need some uh, decent sprigs. And uh, Scotty Thompson, off to a nice little start with his first uh, goal after the half century last week. A magnificent start there. As you said, Thompson off a of PB last week. What a start. Well, he lined up next to Cochin. And unusually, they actually shook hands and probably said, I'll see you in two hours and we'll <laughs> see if we can have 50 each. Flick down. Jacobs and Graham. Jackson gets a clearance of sorts. Cut off by Riley. Van Burlo again. Kick smothered this time. Thompson will have to hump this down. Little tap out. Nahas gets there first. Houses it towards the line. He was grabbed for a second. Split second. Martin pushes Thompson. Ben. Umpire tells them to cut it out. It's been tucked, Potch, and they're all trying to work Thompson over. That, that'll, he'll, he'll like that Scotty Thompson because all he has to do is focus on the ball. The tuck almost corrals him as this ball is thrown in. But stolen. So good news for Cochin fans. Inside 50. And another slip. And Tyrone oh. Vickery takes the mark. And this time, Sean McKernan has slipped. Now oh, this is unbelievable. We've got both defences. Costing their teams shots at goal. Now, it could be two goals. We have to wait for Vickery to kick the goal. Both coaches would be miffed because that is so frustrating, Alistair. When, you know, they're the basic things, the little things that you just take for granted. That was a slip, not even with a big shove either. It's just uh, no good, that one. Ty Vickery, not the kind of player. Adelaide want to let get some confidence early. And that splits the middle. Scores a level. And in the AFL football, we know winning and losing is just a really fine line. And those sort of things, as defenders, they'll just be their critical mistakes. You just can't go to ground. What a fantastic clearance by Cochin. Just drove the ball long to a dangerous situation. A one-on-one -on -one contest, that's what you basically want. But that is uh, a one-on-zero contest when McKernan went to ground with an easy slip on that left leg. Well, as a defender, you always wear sprigs for the first quarter. And if it's oh, too hard, you change over. You don't start with moulds, then slip over. The damage is done. Is that still a rule, Danny? It was what? an old rule. Is it still a rule? I'm sure. Well, maybe. But, well, but well, it for, is for key defenders. For mate. defenders, it be, yes. have to be. You, you take, only take the um, the long sprigs out once the feet start bleeding. You just got to get <laughs> on. No, I agree with that. Totally agree with it. Just off the bench, getting a little kick right towards half forward. So they've made a double change, Adelaide. Started on the bench. Did Matthew Wright? Ball shuffled out. Martin. Strikes a kick. It'll be coming back. Jacobs. High. Gunston. Post was there with a the fist. Grigg. Stover ran it. Vince throws a handball out. Post gets back. Well played. Under some pressure to Lydia. Back to Post. Slaps it to Rance, who fumbles it across. It's one of you Richmond fans back this year. Oh, no, don't tell me. That's not seen as deliberate, is it? He that was right. a definite fumble. Absolutely seen that as deliberate. Yeah. That's uh, But the umpire doesn't know Rance. No, nah, that's right. That's a little bit harsh. Good point. Well, that is hot. 
he was under pressure. Oh, absolutely. If there's no pressure on the player, I understand that. But he was under extreme pressure. And it was a genuine fumble. Yeah, he was. genuinely tried to collect that. And Gunston <laughs> takes full time. Well, it's an unbelievable start. It's a little bit of mistake. mistakes. But there's goals getting scored. So we'll focus on the positives here. And you have a look at the pressure that Rance was under now. He's running with the, the flag. He's kicked it. Yeah. And what happened is it's the hardest skill in football when you're running away from the ball trying to pick it up. Now, we probably know what his intentions were, and he's grabbed the ball there. Gee, I think that's very, very tough. Very tough. And the letter of the law, they may say that he was under no pressure, but he was under extreme pressure. The man that says he's not under pressure hasn't played full back mm. on, a, on a nice, shiny, uh, sunny day. Yeah. Crowd in full voice again. And the ball up. Take away from Martin. Hacks it inside 50. Revolt can't get a fly at it. Cochin through some traffic. Foley. It's a pretty good oh, form at the moment. And Vickery loses his man again. Ryan, that kick from Foley was outstanding. He looked in the corner of his eye under pressure and put the ball to space to Vickery as a midfielder. We know he had a terrific game last week, Nathan Foley. But so that, you're giving him credit for that kick? I reckon he had a quick look to the left and kicked it to space and, it, like a good forward, allowed Vickery to run onto it. To the Boos. 45. Strikes it well. Adelaide, two goals. Vickery, two goals. A nice answer again from uh, Richmond going forward. And a few concerns for Sean McKernan. See this uh, quick kick out here from uh, Foley. He just grabs it on the boot, looks around here and just tumbles it forward. And uh, well, I don't know whether it was meant to be lace out, but certainly got it to a dangerous position, Spud. But the concern is for McKernan. He's now lost contact with his direct opponent twice. Once by going to ground, and the other one he lost contact and allowed him to get, to get behind. And uh, Vickery found some nice space. Damien Howe will be wrapped with the spread of goal kickers. We talked about last yeah. week, 11 goal kickers. Start of the season was, a lot of people were critical. We need to embrace more forwards. And already, Miller three last week, and already victory two today. Thompson just hassled as he was about to collect it. Up oh found a high to Richmond three. Foley's ball. They've been inside their 450 twice the Tigers for two goals. A perfect football at the minute. Delidio keeps it low. Rutten front spot and buffeted by Miller. Free kick. That's a real let-off. Well, Adelaide defence would have known they're under pressure. The ball's winning twice for two goals. And just to get out of jail, kick like that, is too easy for Martin. Yeah, good work from Rutten to get the front position as well. Rutten hits wide to McKernan, who also signed a new contract during the week, but hasn't started all that well with the new contract. Two goals kicked on him already. Sits this up. Vince flies, Walker flies, no one brings it down. Delidio handball, Nahas collects and takes them on and goes all the way home. Tigers in front. We've got a shootout, an old fashioned shootout. We've had two inside 50s for Adelaide for two goals, now there's five inside 50s for three goals. So the amount of freewheeling going on in the midfield, we talk about Delidio, Martin. And we, Nahas was just a beautiful turn of speed. I think that was the key there. He took the ball, had a look around, and ran hard with the ball. That's what you want to do as a half forward. Take, take them on and get the ball to a dangerous spot. Perfect start for the, for the Tigers at the minute. The best game of his career was here a couple of years ago. He had a five-goal game, Robin Nahas. So he likes Army Stadium. He certainly does, and um, we know his defensive pressures are important, but he can uh, kick uh, multiple goals as well. well. It's an amazing game. We've had 30 disposals and five goals. Six disposals per goal yeah. at the moment. Well, that's where the clearance work for both teams going really well. They're getting it out in space and being able to have the time to use the ball. Mad scramble. 20 players around this ball. Tuck on the bottom and in the middle of it. Claven they didn't really have it. It comes out. Umpire gives them an enormous amount of time. Tip it to Thompson. Oh, that's a free kick. So Slime wins himself a free, being held by Thurstfield. He didn't need to do it, Thurstfield. He had Sloan beaten for height, 
when he engaged in contact. He just had to play goal side and spoil the ball. Makes it more obvious where, when you're wearing a big black glove as well. Dangerfield inside 50. Gunston had it but spilled it. Douglas likewise back to Gunston. Right. Hands it out to Walker. 50 from goal. Outside 50. High centering bomb. Graham stands oh, right up and beat for by Vince. The grab from Bernie Vince under a long high ball. And just as it, once again, the defenders aren't playing well here in these nice conditions. The forwards are doing an exceptional job. But that was a disappointing attempted spoil. And uh, I'm sure we'll see the replay here in the screen. And uh, that's a disappointing one. That's a good mark. It shouldn't happen. That was his to mark. Let alone spoil and scores a level again. Fantastic contested mark here. They've won the competition under Mark Pitley the first, the last four weeks. It was a great mark, but Angus Graham, you have to ask the question, Alistair. Bernie Vince, 188 centimetres. Angus Graham, 201 centimetres. I don't reckon you have to ask, now, and ask the question, Spud. Well, it's just not good enough. No. Uh, that is just not good enough for your ruckman. He has to set the scene. If you're 201 centimetres, you have to set the scene, whether you like it or not, in the physicality. That was very, very ordinary. The goal kicker off, and the man who's been given a cook, Angus Graham, into the middle for this bounce. We'll see what he comes up with as a response. Three goals apiece. Tippett runs into him. Thompson can't call that a possession. Martin does get the possession. He had it, got up, kicked it, half forward. Cochin slips it out. Jackson, little fumble, mops up his best. Caught a little high. Play on, up by time to be ducked. Ball up. The umpires are, are aware of that these days. Modern for forwards are turning their head into traffic to initiate that head high contact. I think that's still a high grab, though, isn't it? Yeah, it was. Definitely. It's an open game. There's no sweepers at all at the clearances. That's why we're seeing a lot of goals scored. Rewald kicks it towards goal. Miller claims he was held. Morton taking a cross with a little help from his friends. And I don't mind it. I don't mind having a, you know, uh, an attacking mindset from both teams. The crowd will love it. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll like it as, as commentators, but you need to get a balance. At some stage, one coach is going to have to say, we've got to get some defensive pressure here. Play on the court. Talia, Thompson, Rutten, all getting a piece of the action. Van Berlo got it out to Dangerfield. He fumbles. This hasn't been his year. Patrick Dangerfield, and this one rolls out, coming off a 16 possession game only last week, even though it was a win. Just hasn't risen to that all Australian level that many people thought he would pre season. The ball in, Cochin almost the steal. Van Berlo wrapped up. In fact, Jacko, Glenn Jakovic downstairs, I think, had some news on Patrick Dangerfield. Pre game, we might check in with Jacko shortly. There's Trent Cochin there, that's a positive of the Tigers. Martin, Delio, Cochin, all three or four disposals each, so they're getting a little bit of the ball early. Tippett knocks down Edwards, a little bit going off the deck. King keeps it alive, tuck, and King's been given a free for a push. Yeah, Dwayne, just quickly with Patrick Dangerfield, he will be having post season surgery on. Small little foot issue, and uh, I think his plantar fascia. I think he's got a slight tear on it. So uh, once the season finishes, he'll be going straight in. Whether that's hampered his uh, performance this year? Yeah, so so, so they're painful. Little Jake King opens up the angle for the lead back. Gee, that was a pretty good try. Now they are painful by his plantar fascias. Uh, dual Brownlow medalist Robert Harvey, yep. halfway during the season, I said. Surgery, which is the season out, yep. and the only way you can do it is keep jumping off the kitchen bench and snap it from the ball of your yeah. foot. Yeah, no, we'll get by going to that later on, but yeah, I have a similar sort of story. John Cock. Oh, good spoil. That's a bit better. Let's just so he, did, hang on, he deliberately broke yep. his own span of face Had to snap the tendon, Dwayne, and it took him, I don't want to spend too much time on it, but five jumps, Dwayne. Five jumps off the chair, yeah, off the table. Biting on nails, that, doing it. That leap would be Why didn't he go a bit higher? <laughs> Well, Wanting to go off the roof or something well, else. Uh, you just sure. do it in one. <laughs> yes, that's right, Jacko. A bit soft. <laughs> Back into play. So Tippett's still doing some ruck work and does pretty well, except he gives it up to Cochin. Vickery. Martin's in. Oh, that's my ball. It's on the Martin. deck. He rolls it to 50. 
Rutten overruns it. Revolt. Otten. Rutten. Armstrong. Cotchin catches him by the ear, according to the umpire. You said there, Spud, about Martin good strength. I want to be on Martin watch today, <laughs> see if he actually gets taken to ground. Because he yep. just rarely goes to ground at all. Right. Yeah, no, I know it is. I've no, seen no, it for the last few weeks. Right on the outer side, <laughs> half-back flank. Matthew Wright <laughs> short. You're working well today, Lynchy. <laughs> Otten. It's a beautiful day for it. It is. It is. A slip. Armstrong. And he floats that. First field, he protected his man away from the ball and didn't really go for the ball himself. McKay gathers the leather. Back to right. Thompson. Off you go, play on was the call. Vince goes long. All the way to goal. In fact, it's Van Burlo kicked it. Well, Van Burlo was on the, uh, the end of some nice work from the uh, Adelaide Crows. A good build up. Bit of patience, slip again, but uh, he got out on the defensive side of the, the press from the Richmond Football Club and had too much space. And once you get a player of his quality in that sort of space, you can attack the 50 and you convert those opportunities nine times out of ten. That's a really handy goal. He's had a good start, five disposals, three kicks, two handballs and the one goal. So that Adelaide Crow is very happy to reply again. Watch us the lack of defensive pressure. Daniel Jackson was caught ball watching yep. and just allowed Van Burla at the back. That's inexcusable. When your player gets in a really dangerous position, you need to man him up. Especially when he runs into an open goal like that. Here he is, Van Burlo again, rolls it to half forward. Trenko attacks Hooley hard with the tackle. Grigg, Douglas, Thompson and Douglas combine. And inside 50, first field can't get there with the fist. Tackle laid, umpire watching on for a couple of metres away. Says I'll have it. Is it blustery down there, Jacko? Because we expected Tippett and it, Walker it, to have an impact. It is wor quite whirly down here, but one thing that I've noticed with the Adelaide Crows uh, forwards, they're definitely all playing in front. It's obviously uh, something that they've pre-planned before the game, make sure everyone plays in front. Post. Oh, oh he's near missed the slipper. What which we need to do now is forget that and man up. Post delivery is normally a lot better than that. John Cock, Riley to the pocket. And the right takes the mark. Well, that should be a good day here today. <laughs> Boundary line. Now, what's inexcusable having... We know he's a ball magnet, but you just man him up. I know the tuck was on him, but he opened up the leg rope about 10 metres. Absolutely. Dropping defensively, enough. and you can't afford to do that, especially when there's, uh, as Jacko said, 19 knots of breeze going uh, right of screen. He'll get the journey quite easily well, from will. about 54. Five-point margin. And he gives it a run. Just misses to the near side. That's not knowing the conditions, Shane Tuck, because you... You must know there's a strong breeze. Had to be hip on hip there. Oh, yeah, and that's a real defensive me mentality. I mean, and that's the thing, but you've got to understand these the presses and zones and that sort of stuff, and uh, where your direct opponent is when you've got to run with roll. And also play to the conditions as well. Yeah. Hurley long, revolt from four deep, but he was beaten to it in the end by Post, who wants to make amends to his last possession. We know he can take a very good mark. That was a great contested mark in the pack. Looking to spread here, but they've got no numbers out this side. Got to be careful here. Yeah. Turn over, Douglas. He's got a fingernail on it. Feeds back into it. Doors a couple. Short to right. Wide, Petrenko, another slip. Well, at the moment, the Tigers are going 47% by foot, and this is the difference in the game. Rolls back outside 50. Right over Rannett. The handball out, but it's another mad scramble. Morton tries to hold it in. Came out. And Burlow again. That time across the face. Started with some strapping on his knee as well, Nathan Van Burlow. So good that he's been able to take that off and move a little more freely. Well, the real concern for Richmond, Adelaide have been inside their 457 times for six scoring shots. So at some stage, one of the players out there needs to man up and play some really strong defensive spoiling mindset or even half a contest. 
Vince. Central kick. Perfect kick. Yeah, good Burnham positioning away. again. And once again, slack when you've got class midfielders finding space inside 50. Alistair, ball watching. Yep. Three Richmond players guarding space, watching the ball, and then they watch the ball go into Van Burlow's hands. One of them hit the man up. He's in a really dangerous spot. He's kicking with the wind, and he's kicking from 50 metres. And this is where sometimes zones and presses, can, you can be unaccountable for a direct opponent. Oh, gee, that's horrendous. Well, it's letting Richmond off the hook. That's what it's doing, Mike. Absolutely. Adelaide Crows operating at 72% by foot. Uh, Richmond currently at 50%. And as we touched on before, post, he's just not delivering at the moment. 33%, Dwayne. Poor kick by Van Burlow, boys. But he's had the last three shots at goal for um, the Crows. So Richmond have got to shut, shut him right down. Jacobs flies. Ball hits the deck. Talia had a chance. Couldn't find a teammate with it. Slung was revolt, but he got a possession away. King attacked it. John Cock, likewise. Sloan under some pressure. Rutten. Oh, fumble. And all the way back to the middle now. And no one going anywhere. Has been airing a goal all his career, Nathan Van Burlow. He's running at 40% his entire career as we see the Rutten fumble. It's not really good enough to be at that level as a goal kicker. These days, 40%. We've got Dustin Martin at full forward, Brent Riley. So this is a crucial contest. Free kick off. Have a look at Dustin contest. Martin on Riley here. One on one now. This usually results in a goal for Richmond. This is a great matchup for Richmond if they can get the ball quickly to him. Miller, Delidio, Foley, gang tackle and oh, dropped it. Great tackle. Although he drop picked it. It's great to see some defensive pressure from, the, from someone. That was great tackling. Van Burlow bumped on the kick. Vickery attacks it. Vince grabs the crumb. Petrenko runs away with it, and it opens More up. Space. Right, he needs a target, heads wide, Gunston, ton of space. Tip Just needs off. to be steady, tip it, goal square, goal. Biggest lead of the game, 13 points. Oh, that's a magnificent, well called Wayne. Drives great vision out to Gunston, and Gunston unselfishly to tip it. That's the best passage to play for the game. It started from defensive pressure up the middle of the ground. And just so he had some quick ball movement, wore the tackle, got the ball forward. Let's have a look at the vision here. He gets the ball in the middle of the ground. There's Gunston at the top of the screen. He could have blazed away, but he's at the corner of his eye. There's Gunston, and there's Tippett. I can get a piece of it as well. I'll run hard to the goal square. Great team goal. Super play, boys, from the half-back line. What uh, the vision didn't show is the two Richmond players came off the interchange. And with the advantage rule was uh, probably calling the play, it was a two-on-three, a two-on-five, effectively, in the end. And um, Petrinko worked his way through, so he did a very fantastic job for the Crows. Started with a nine-goal first term last week, Adelaide. Right now, they've kicked five, and they're right again. on the surge. No free for a little in the back opportunity. Gunston was the diving player for Adelaide. Rance takes it out, little fumble again. And some great transition from uh, one end of the ground to the other by the midfield of the uh, Adelaide Crows at the moment. Some exciting players out there on the ground. Van Burwo's got involved, Thompson, Wright, Vince, and there's the hit outs. 11-2 in favour of Sam Jacobs and uh, Tippett for the Adelaide Crows. Greg bangs it out of the area. Riley gathers, but is in turn gathered by Rewalt. Just waited for him to pick it up. Nahas Edwards to half forward. Open Martin. forward time. Line Martin takes the mark. He He's got plenty that. of time. Well, he's against the win. He'll have to hold it up because he won't get the trip kicking into the breeze. No in the square. He goes for Jake King of all people. John Cock slaps it out and gets away with it. Yeah, it was probably the kick had to go to the goal square. When he and just the, back one of his teammates to, right. to run it out and win the race. Well, King was on his bike, yeah. so the kick was to the goal umpire. Jacobs, he's been outstanding. He ranked fourth in competition for hitouts, seventh hitouts to advantage. Much improved player. He's loved this move over here. Really found his feet. Graham. Little fumble initially. Heads wide Good with vision. a pass opportunity. It was Jamie O'Reilly. And now Morton. Well, will he have, have the shot? Will he have the protection of the crowd? Uh, sorry, the grandstand there, Glenn Jagovic, Morton. Oh, you would think he would. Um, we'll just wait and see how he goes. His preparation. He was kicking them before the game there, so uh, interesting to see where he can do it now in the play. Left goal post and uh, should get the journey by a, a couple of metres, but uh, there's a take that left post. 
opens up the angle a bit and the breeze keeps it in. Perfection. A yeah, nice conversion, yeah. just uh, felt that he was probably on his limit, so he swung out to the right and uh, really loaded up, and that certainly can produce a, a big pull and see the danger field clearance. Just wasn't effective enough, and uh, Richmond had some good sweepers in place. But Morton, we know he can kick goals. Hasn't kicked a lot this year, but uh, certainly he's got the potential to kick big numbers. Yeah, right on his limit from 50 and teed it up and really flushed it. So nice goal and an important answer for the Tigers who are just starting to slip off the pace but now bring it back to seven points. Jacko gets uh, that breeze was worth a couple yeah. at least. Well, it's been a good attack and going to football. Dangerfield's kick from that stoppage had to go wide. Yeah. It went in the corridor, opened it up for the Tigers to attack. It was short and through the corridor so that was uh, almost two uh, crosses in the box. Jacobs gets his own clearance. First field, hunts it. Tippett was right on his hammer, Rance. Slip, gets up, weaves some magic to the wing. Miller needs to go. Rutten, Farmer, ducks out of it. Cochin almost got one for too high. Kyle let it run. Foley to Jackson. Touch play on, Armstrong leaves it behind. Nahas attacks it, half held, hassled off it by Douglas. Now Haas gets it back from Edwards. Turn over. Riley. Jacobs. Dangerfield. Armstrong. Gets it away to Sloan just in time. Crowd enjoying this contest. Oh, Rutten's been dropped behind play as well. Bit happening off the ball. Has the umpire seen it? Is it going to be an Adelaide free kick where the ball is? I think it is. I think it has yeah, been, no, actually. Well done. Well done, umpire. Well, when he blew the whistle, I think that ball might have been inside 50. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It yeah, was 45 out. So that was 120 metres off the ball where Rutten was furled. There was a bit of a fracas before that yeah, with Cotchell involved, but then Edwards came over and a little it's cheeky silly. on Rutten when he wasn't looking. There's three umpires there. There's always an umpire at that end of the ground. Top of the square, McKay instead. Gunston can't get the jump at it. Tuck. Wobbles it outside 50, it'll be coming back. Riley to the pocket. Vince can't mark. Off hands and ball in. So you're not a good one when you, you don't want to give free kicks away when you're that far off the ball. When you're giving free kicks away at all. <laughs> Graham and Jacobs tie up. Flick down right. Great tap from Jacobs. The player to Riley. Rance. King. He's going to have to be patient here, though, because uh, John Cox, 50 metres behind the ball. There's a two-on-one now, but uh, it's just going to have to be pretty patient, probably chip inside or long down the line. Greg. And he tumbles one towards half forward. Miller, little tap out Edwards. He's got Jackson running for him. Jackson sees an open goal, keeps it low and drives it through. A one-point game. Well, that's what they needed. Certainly the Adelaide Crows have had a couple of opportunities where they're inside 50s, where they're sort of leading the way 13 to 10. But they're able to get to a uh, bit of a scrappy kick up the line where they're outnumbered, but just a nice little run into space from Jackson and Edwards just looked after him with a nice little handball on the inside to make up for the free kick a few minutes ago. Just what they needed. And I reckon with that wind advantage, Richmond will be very comfortable going in at quarter time, just the one point down. Did mention at the start, both these teams coming in off good form. Richmond having won their past two. Adelaide having won three of their last four. Great result for Richmond against the Breeze. This is a very good result. Tippett knocks it down. Finally got the kick away. Kay kicks it wide, hoping for Sloan to track it down. Bounce was unkind to him initially. Hooley can't take him out. In fact, he does. Take him out. Tucker Hooley coming off a couple of good games in a row as well. Maybe the best run of form of his career as well, Tucker Hooley. He's Mark Bickley. He would have been happy with the start. It'd be interesting. Love to be a fly on the wall a quarter time to see if he tells his boys to tighten up. Just a couple of easy goals late in this quarter to Richmond. Well, yeah, you're right, uh, Spud. 
general feel of the game without looking at the scoreboard. You felt, uh, I would feel Adelaide Crows have been in, in pretty good control. They've dominated possessions, 80 to 59. Inside 50s are their way as well. Contested you, possessions. Contested possessions, clearances. They've used the ball better. But uh, Richmond have just found a way. When they've gone inside 50, they've used the ball well. Van Berlo gets and takes off. Gunston the target. Two Tigers fly. Gunston couldn't get near it initially. Center and kick to Petrenko. Cut off by Farmer. Takes on Douglas. Gets a handball. Foley. Hooley. We're getting the extra back Morton. now, Richmond. That's why they got the release play. Not a lot to go to, though. Martin's not a bad one on one. He's a good great contestant, Mark. Keeps it low. Miller came up from half forward. Ridden a little. Tackle. Over it. On the ball or too high. It's too high. Dustin Martin, he's getting plenty of the ball. He's going to have 14%. He's had seven kicks. He needs to improve yeah. his kicking. Morton, long, Vickery, held up. Couldn't get the run and jump. Dangerfield. Morton. Adelaide might be able to reload from half-back. Talia. Under some pressure again. Touch play on was a call. Morton. Down to 90 seconds. Miller comes back to Farmer. Vickery waits for the bounce. Keeps it in well. Nahas takes off from 50. Oh. Sees the big sticks. Ooh, it was great play from Vickery. It was good, uh, good play from Vickery. Just to flick it into Nahas. Just couldn't uh, finish it off. But uh, here's the tap. And, yeah, nice little bit of work from the, the big Ruckman forward. But their defensive pressures have been really good. They've been able to force some key turnovers at critical times when uh, when the Adelaide Crows are going through the corridor. OK, bombs it all the way outside, 50, but initial tackle. Tali it to Van Berlo, to Vince, and now Armstrong. They're out the back again here. Petrenko needs to get and go. Oh, he bumped off oh. Rance, takes off, he bounced Good off him like a rubber ball. ball, and now the goal opens oh. up and he misses. Well, it's a lot up there for the Tigers. He used him as a springboard. It was beautifully called, Dwayne. You have to be better than that, man. You have to know. Just have a look. Just had to get goal side. He's elected to get side on, which opened up the goals for Petrenko. Had to get goal side first and then initiate contact. So then the bump goes away from Adelaide's goal. So when side on, it was fraught with danger. Kocha not paid the mark. Yeah. Right hands it back. Another snap at goal. Van Berlo nails this one. Alistair, you got your wish. The scoreboard was indicative. We thought the Tigers run really well from Sebelius. Yep. That's been the difference in the game. 51%. Uh, just a short turnover against the Breeze. I know it's fine conditions, but there was too many players around for that option there. Was that, Basher, a bit, really? that was a little bit stiff. It was almost a mark or an arm chop. It was borderline. No, certainly uh, short in the corridor. was very high risk, but very little unlucky he didn't get paid the mark. What a start from Van Burla. He knows he pulled on the coach of the mark quickly. 13 disposals, two goals one. Oh, Did yes. he have control? Yeah. I reckon he had control well, of that. He got an arm. And an arm as well. Yeah, so there's no, two free kicks that. missed. Yeah, that was, a, that was very unlucky for Conchard. Lucky, that was a hometowner. Yeah, yeah, it was. Jackson rolls it to half forward with the seconds ticking. Edwards attacks it. Down to 30. McKernan knocks it out nicely. Orton. Vince handball cut off, so he mops up his own mess. Caught, slung, dropped it. No free. Riley hands it out. McKay throws to the chance of a late score. Van Berlo, McKay, Thompson, down to 15. Bounced it to Walker. Takes him on, slips a handball up. Tip it. Bangs it towards oh, goal. That is brilliant. On the buzzer. What a fantastic uh, build-up. And actually, I'll tell you what, Van Burrow needs to get an opponent. There's no one within 10 metres of him. He's on the 14 disposals here. He was in the middle of the ground by himself. Thompson set this up. Nice, uh, or oh, a bit of an ordinary kick towards Walker. But as we saw from last week uh, from Kurt Tippett, around the body on the right-hand side, he's just snapping them everywhere at the moment. So, very good goal with just a few seconds remaining. No, it's an amazing goal. I think all the focus on Thompson. Van is getting under the guard because they're hitting up Scott Thompson at will. He's had the eight disposal. It's been the Van Burlo show. You see Mark Bickley talking to David Noble there. He'd be a little bit more relieved now. Uh, last minute and a half, 
on the flip side, Damon Hardwick, he won't be too happy. That's right, two quick goals to Adelaide, probably square this quarter up. Just enough time for a bounce, and that's about it. Quarter time at Amy Stadium. Brad getting their money's worth. How many goals, Wayne? 12 goal opening term. It might be 12th and 14th on the AFL ladder, but they're putting on a show. 7 3 45 to 5 2 32. Times and uh, it's an important one. So a tough job week in, week out, up against the best defender of the opposition. Second term underway. Jacobs. He's on fire in the ruck, Jacobs. Van Burlow gets it down to Thompson. He was on fire until that kick on the outside of the boot. Close to the boundary. Jackson will be content to take this out. If Jacobs coming off the best game of his career last week, Sam Jacobs. 47 hitouts against the Gold Coast. Lingus Graham needs to get more aggressive. Have a look at the stoppage here. Jacobs initiating front position. And just the bodies. That was better from Graham. He initiated some contact. Third man up to help to Lydio Jackson. Riley. There's two Rileys and an O'Reilly out there today. Maybe you're a little confused at times. <laughs> Armstrong. To the outer side. Rutt. Took the step. Right, tells him to go. Sloan. They're working this well, actually, at the close. A good zoning place from Richmond, but uh, good use by foot. Okay. Took some treatment. Talia, the target, cut off by Cotchin. Didn't go to ground. He kept his feet, got the handle to Graham. Delidio. Sidestepped a couple. Post. Oh, Grant. Pressure. Trouble. Didn't really need to give that handball. Thompson got it from Tippett. Oh, and that's the Gunston. You've got a kick in that instant with the errant handball. The, the kick had him win another 20 metres to someone on the outside. All of a sudden, you maintain possession, but just a hurried handball over the top of someone means the ball's got elevation and it gives a forward press a chance to intercept, which it did on that occasion. For a 19-point margin. First time today the margin has been beyond three. You can play this ball. Got it all, Jack Gunston. Absolutely, Spuddy. Very good player, but uh, turnovers, it's not just purely about turnover numbers, it's about where you make your turnovers. And under good pressure here from the Adelaide Crows, an elevated kick, and the same as when you're kicking across half back. Elevate anything, whether it be a handball or a kick, in the corridor 50 metres out from goal, you're under enormous pressure because it allows the forward to come in and put pressure on you, cause turnover, generate a shot at goal. Jaden Post turned a couple over by foot in the first yep. quarter. That's why he handballed because he turned a goal. And there's Gunston, who had a history making day here a year ago, played in a premiership for Central Districts. So there was a big breeze blowing, they played him down the same end of the ground all four quarters. And he was their gun player. You know, you're going well if they play at the same end and, uh, with a big breeze, yes. as long as it's where the ball is, not the other end. Exactly. Big leap, no mark. Hits the deck, Martin traps it in. Tackled hard by Van Burlo. Ball up. Fantastic leap. It's the other Riley, Aiden yeah. Riley. Good elevation. Nice feature on him today. Although the headline was Meet Pig Dog, was the headline for the feature yeah. article. So good leap from Pig Dog there. Aha, uh -huh, support. Good pressure from the Crows. Otten, kick smothered. Graham, Jacobs. Even when Graham gets the ball, he's giving it to his opposite man. 152. Thompson. Dangerfield. Geez, almost within range. He keeps it low. Oh, oh, just, just the wrong missed. side. Just missed, but uh, he's got good pace, and uh, once he attacks that 50 metre arc, he's going to give it a shake. Early. Farmer. 20 point margin. Biggest lead of the game for either side if you've joined a slate. If you have joined a slate, Brody Martin, a late in for the Adelaide Crows with Michael Doughty out. There's a late exclusion. Armstrong and Burlo handball smothered. Cochin cut it off, gave to Deledio. Tries to run through off to Jackson. Thompson with him, Jackson up. 
just in time, Cochin to half forward. Paul and kindly eludes McKernan. He did well though to come off his man, McKernan. He, he did left Tyrone Vickery in the goal square, and so uh, he was a bit lucky the ball went over the line after bouncing over his head. But you need to do that. Team defence mentality. Jacobs front spot straight down Vince's throat. Right. Hands it out slow. Short Johnson again. Get up you two. The umpire barking instructions of players who are grabbing each other off the ball. Yeah, that was Sloan and Cochin went to ground. Talia got it from Armstrong. Heads wide, hoping for Rutten. Good contest, Edwards. And gets his own ball. Tiger's a chance here. He needs to hit Vickery, who marks on 50. Ooh, He's got a couple on. of short options. Nahas is one of them. Miller. And he goes to Edwards, the shortest of all. Could no. have been Miller's ball. Well, it was Miller's ball, but yeah. Edwards will take it. It was good play in the end. But if he goes back, he, he better kick the goal because it was actually three Richmond players on their own there. Edwards, Miller. Speaking Nahas and Rewalt was on the lead. Speaking of Central District's players, Shane Edwards' father, a 100 goal goal kicker in a season for Central Districts back in the day. Four goals, nine for Shane Edwards this year, though. His goal kicking hasn't been as good as his dad's. So we've got to make the most of your opportunities, especially playing in the state. Here's Jack Rewald. Justin Levich taught to quarter time. They need to get Rewald into the game. But they won't like that. If you're in form, OK, drop the ball, but should come at, at least in front, not Absolutely. through your hands. They had the sort of clam going. You yeah. didn't have the hands behind the ball. So it's always low percentage when the hands are coming from side on. Talia long post with the jump. And from behind, oh. or is the man in front? Well, Tuck. we know he can mark the ball. Yeah. He just needs to work on his disposal. He's got to get rid of it well. Oh, well done. Nice. Hooley can take off. Spears that and King. Oh, strange go to man, but whatever works. Great passage of play. You know, the ball's on one side of the ground, a quick kick into the middle of the ground, kick the ball to space, leading target. That, and uh, important as well because King on the lead, he makes John Cock accountable, so you've got to use him because John Cock's a really good rebounding defender, likes to zone off as well. So if you can use his man, you need to do it, but importantly, he has to convert this opportunity to punish. John Cocker, at least made him accountable so he doesn't get that run. Had a shot in the opening term and missed. Having a good run, though. This doesn't really give us a run at all. No, no. Two missed opportunities to start of this quarter. And as big Frank Lepich said at quarter time, they'd been efficient when they'd gone inside their 50, they were able to score, and now they're up to five goals, four, so they've just slipped with these oh. opportunities with the Brewers. Turnover, yes. King gets another chance. His third shot at goal. And he's no, hit the post. Not good enough. Nahas was on his own. And he had a look. No, I don't mind to kick the goal, but if you kick the point, I know it hit the inside of the post, Dwayne, but Nahas, rightly so, put his hand up and said, what about me? Yeah, absolutely. He just wanted to make up for that last missed opportunity. Poor kick. Out of play. That's a shocker. But when we talk about poor kicks, at least it's out on the boundary Let's line. Let's have a look. Spud. There's Rewald on the hands, and then you've got Nahas there. Now, that is not good enough. He had two options, hands or a foot pass. Free kick off the ball yeah. here. And that's why you can see the frust frustration of Jake King. He's going to Sloan against Martin. Getting back to Jake King, you can tell the missed shot at goal was still playing on his mind. Yep, you think he absolutely. owes his teammates a goal, but he didn't think team. And there's no doubt Damon and Harwick will that'll be on the review tape come tomorrow. Talia jumps into the marking contest. Can't pluck it. John Cock sunk a slipper into Farmer. He thought he might have got a free. Danny, I don't think he'll be on the review tape on Monday. I think he might be at half time in the mood that Damien Hardwick's in, so it's an interesting to see what happens. Yeah, it's a little high that one. A little near on the top of the head. And Burlow to Vince, Thompson, John Cock, Tippett. Just the boundary. Yeah, it's and a the shame. Because yeah. Richmond are actually. I know 
they're controlling the play at the moment, but they just haven't converted their opportunities. So if Adelaide kick a goal now, it will be really oh, deflating. McKay could have been ball. He was tackled. He didn't dispose of it Absolutely. legally. Well, like this, I don't think the ball hit McKay's boot, surely. Nah. Not enough Richmond fans to uh, call yeah. for a holding the ball decision here. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a good tackle. Had prior opportunity. Oh, Absolutely. Fresh sweet. air. So how is that not paid? Well, he must have thought a bit of leather hit the hit the boot and it didn't work. Well, as simple as that. Umpires used to say he made an attempt to play on, but I don't think that's no. a rule, though, is it, Dwayne? Had not. a couple of lucky ones, Adelaide, in this game. There's been a little press about hometown decisions in papers around Australia in the last couple of weeks. Rance banks this back, boundary line. Not deliberate. Get a ball in. A good result in the end, too. Would have been a two-on-one contest uh, against Richmond, so best result over the line get the opportunity to get plenty of players around for this stoppage Vickery Tippett Edwards over at play on even though he didn't have it is the reason Edwards didn't get the free according to the umpire Edwards gets a kick away eight goals to five 18, dispos to 19 disposals now to Van Burlap. He's having Scotty Thompson like be, stats at the minute. Might be raising the bat late in the fourth quarter as well. Late. And they need to tighten up. Tip it. Drag down Vickery after falling himself. I'm quite told them to get on with it again. McKay straight through Aiden Riley's hands. Hooley. Foley. King. And he goes for goal again. It's all about the bounce. It's way wide. And that'll do for Richmond. It's going to be all about the reward for effort. And this is what's going to be uh, energy sapping for the Tigers if, uh, as Spud just touched on before, if the Crows can transition this from one end of the ground to the other and score a goal, it is going to be very, very energy sapping against the Tigers. Well, Tippett took that out of the air. Got to be a free. No, a beautiful they get one one final. Well, it's a brain fight. It's as simple as that. You, you must know the rules, especially in that area of the ground. You can wear it at the other end if you're forward, but... When you make a mistake such as this, the Ruckman's got a shot at goal. Now, the Ruckman has to convert this opportunity. They've peppered the goals in the first uh, half of this second term. Here's Kurt Tippett with a throw in, and you forfeit any uh, prior opportunity. And uh, I think he felt that he got a little hand to it, but uh, umpire was a little quicker with the, the whistle. Played 12 minutes in this term as Daniel Jackson comes off with the blood rule, and not foreign to him coming off under the blood rule. <laughs> and this. For Richmond's first goal of the term, and he sprays it. It's four behind now for the Tigers. Yeah. That's deflating. And Adelaide are under pressure. They've had more disposals in this quarter, 44 to 28, but they just can't get it out of their back half at the moment. So some really good work from Richmond to hold it in, but just can't uh, punish the uh, Crows on the scoreboard. Well, they've been in four times for four behind, so it could have quite easily been four goals. McKernan stripped of it. Which puts the game in a completely different context. Oh, absolutely. And you say it's been in four times. When it's gone in, it's actually stayed in there for an eternity as well. They just time in forward 50, a massive advantage in favour of the Tigers at the moment. Absolutely. Bomb long towards half forward from Vince. Mark taken by Rance. Off to change sides. First field. Is the good spread now. They've really set this up well. Hurley. It's got Tuck in the middle. Still got Tuck as an outlet short if he wants it. Well, probably the problem was Hurley didn't have a lot of support. Players up the field that had run really hard from one end of the ground to the other. Straight through McKernan initially. Riley. Armstrong. Sloan. And now they've got the runner overlap. We've got numbers free, but I'm over three. Talia Thompson, Dangerfield. Who does he want to go to? Oh, play. Thought about going for goal, and just pokes it to right. That was magnificent passage of play with hands. You can almost guarantee that Adelaide Crows will kick a goal well, here. Douglas has been free yeah. since he marked the ball. Because they ran harder forward than the Richmond players did back, and they ran into space, and this you see this so often in AFL football, in, in sport, one team has a lot of the possession, a lot of the opportunity, but then quick transition to the other end, and this uh, this will hurt the Tigers. Well, it's going to be a tough year for Richard Douglas, coming off the best and fairest year last year. 
Adelaide Crows in general. Had a tough year, but they can finish it well. He can finish this for a 22 point lead. He misses. Both teams have been out of the finals race for a while. Now both teams do have an opportunity to have their season finish with a better win loss ratio than last year's season. Richmond, not since I think it was 2001 in the finals. Yeah. You know, oh, good coach back in those days. That's when I was black haired, right? <laughs> <laughs> Edwards picks it up. Gets Turned the rebound right after that. <laughs> and Nahas. 60 from goal. Hasn't got a lot to go to. Has to hold it up. The back grain one on one. Okay, he's in a one on one. Talia, young player with him, and he brilliantly marks it. Uh, great kick. Uh, well done in the end. He, he sort of was hesitant to go early, but uh, Talia on Graham, probably a bigger body, and one-on-one, -on -one, that's all, the only thing that a, a forward wants. Just get it in quick, give me a chance to go one-on-one, -on -one, and uh, it was a good kick because the the advantage of uh, Graham, and he just used his body well and dropped into a nice chest mark. And this becomes a massive kick, and he's taking some time to make sure he gets it right. And for the record, you're right, Lynch, you're 10 seasons now in a row without a finals appearance. Richmond, just two finals appearances in the past 28 years. Hopefully they're on the way back. The Tiger fans have stuck with them through thick and thin. There's been a lot of thin. Whoa. That was a wobbler. That was a Stephen Kernahan helicopter special. It's in the book. It's in the book. You don't have to draw pictures or write a diagram about how it went. There was a dirty old scud. We just see here with King now. Nahas was looking for King now. He, he burned him a couple of times this opportunity. So it was not a bad lead from King, but that, I reckon that's a great kick to advantage. And I think Angus Graham now squared the ledger because in the first quarter yep. he got out contested mark by Van Burlo. Now he's been able to convert. So you can forget the first one because he gives his team one back. So that's a trivial contested mark there from Angus Graham. Word to the coach. Yeah, no, very nicely done. He uh, he held off his direct opponent. Nick with, Stevens, there, the yeah, yes. there he is. Bit of experience there on the, on the bench. What a late player. But uh, good work from Grown just to not hold but hold off. So nice work. A few ex Port Adelaide players, Damien Harbick, ex Port Adelaide, and Brendan Lade, ex Port Adelaide, also part of the Richmond coaching staff. Talia handballs back to Dangerfield. Jacobs, and these two coaches. Played against each other in many a showdown, Mark Bickley and Damian Hardwick. Their first meeting as coaches today. Armstrong did have strong arms there. Vince. Just come back inside. It's called to go. Rutten. Otten. With a 1 2. Riley. Otten. Oh, Maybe a turnover. O'Reilly. Gets the kick. The Irishman into the middle, though. Talia gathers and goes. Petrenko backtracks, gets past Miller. Out of sight. The other Riley. He can get and go. He's got long options. He heads to the pocket. Gunston's the one he wants. Takes the mark on 50. He did. He was just giving far too much space by his direct opponent on that occasion. Push back toward the gutter. 11 points the margin, 18 minutes gone, second term. He's already kicked a couple. Gives it a run, oh, it's nice. long, and Tuck thumps it through for a behind. That's the toughest kick on the ground, up straight into the breeze. Made a good fist of it, um, and uh, in the end, a good spoil. Well, next time they have a kick from that area, it's going to go 20 metres out quickly in front. It's nearly impossible from that angle. The way the bruise is, it was straight into the bruise. So so as a defender, you're happy to have a long, yep. high ball on the goal line. Delidio to himself. Kernan, Post. Post read that well, but couldn't bring the mark down. Just floated over the pack a little. And now it's tied up for a ball up. Both these teams having poor starts of the season. Richmond failing to win any of their first four games and Adelaide just one win in their first four but both finishing strongly here Dangerfield inside 50 cut off by Rance yeah, good mark by Rance just uh, dropped off uh, Kurt Tippett had pushed up at the ball carrier 
Morton. Richmond finished next week with North Melbourne. You could even finish the season with four wins in a row. Heading to summer, full of confidence. The Adelaide Crows. West Coast next week. Patterson Stadium, their final game of the year. Miller hasn't seen a lot of it yet. Knocks this down. Douglas buffered it off it. Foley to Tuck. Martin got a couple to beat. Fists it down. Sloan. Inside defensive 50, hands it up. Tackle late on Riley to Sloan to Rutten. They've worked it well. For the outer side, oh, yeah. Petrenko's got some space. It bounced kindly for him. Hands it up to Thompson. Which one-on-one -on -one does he oh. want? He turns it over. Post. Oh. He wanted Gunston, but he missed him completely. Had to go shorter. Tippett was 50 metres by himself in the in the forward 50. They had to go one short, then long Tippett. Yeah, Aiden Riley was the option, Alistair. Farmer again, Jake King in a one-on-one. -on -one. Knocked away from him, Riley. Down the middle, wants well, either Jacobs or the other Riley, and Aiden Riley oh, has won. Oh, 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 can't slaughter this one, surely. So Vince to Walker. Hacks it to Tippett in the goal square. Delinio gets back. Tippett can't mark it. Gunston from oh, front and square. Great goal. Oh, it was a very good goal, but Vance overcommitted. He, he cannot run up the man. I understand what he was doing because he, that was Taylor Walker, his direct opponent. So he's come off and allowed him an easy disposal, get the ball to tip it. Pretty good effort in the end from Deledio, but Gunson just in the right spot at the right time. He's kicked three goals now. He's, he's making the most of his opportunities. Only had the eight disposals, but three goals. Pretty quick ball. That's where Richmond once again were punished with turnovers across their half forward line and the Crows were just running very hard. As Richmond run to support their ball carrier, the turnover is costly because the trailing Crows defenders, uh, forwards, have got a mile of space. Three kicks we've found. Jackson. Okay, so Jackson hits Sloan high. Sloan plays on. 22 minutes gone to Douglas. Back inside. Four minutes to half time. A big four minutes at that. Thompson held off it nicely. Nahas collects on the go. King. No arm slap free. John Crock does well. That's well done. Thompson. Otten. Sidestep. Clever. And the fist out of play is good. Delidio read that well. Yeah, well done from Delidio. Great pick up from Nahas just in the right claw. But. Uh... Delidio spoil just good closing speed to get a fist in front of um, who it was there, Bernie Vince. Tippett almost held by Graham, short throw in. Tuck. Morton, an initial fumble. Vickery can't get there. McKernan likewise had a go but couldn't. Armstrong's wide. And it stays in. And Vince takes off. All the Tigers stopped over the head of Walker. They get out of a jam. Post. Rance. Thursfield. Delidio. Bang! Oh, he shrugged that tackle easily. Petrenko had him dead. Rewald stands under it. Oh. Run. Tippett takes the mark. We'll get to Jack Glenn Jack every time Jack Rewald shortly. Right. Gives the handball up. Thompson. Vince. And that's on the full. Well, Head down to Glenn Jakovic, whose body that, language hasn't been great. Yeah, Jacko. I've just noticed in this quarter, a couple of inside 50s, just a lame attack, just a one-trick pony, gone to the contest, but no ground pressure. And with him and Miller both, uh, not a lot of impact in this quarter or in this game. they certainly got to lift their work rate if uh, Richmond are going to start picking some goals. Yeah, that's the kind of ball he had to attack yeah. there. Well, it's very well picked up from Jacko, because the yeah. start of this quarter, he missed an easy mark, and he didn't even go the last opportunity. Tip it, had it tipped. Cotchin. So now it opens up. King again is the go-to man. Grigg puts it out in front. King gallops. Gets there. John Cock. Half grabs him. King drags it down. Wants to keep it alive. Oh, Does. Foley. Sidestep. Dropped it. Gets the kick away. And it bounces the wrong side. Well, again, I know that Nathan Foley's under extreme pressure, but he had victory on top of the square. Yeah. Great pressure here from John Cock. It's been a great duel. You just see Foley there. The degree of difficulty he didn't have victory in the left of screen. Rutten. Vince. Tippett's working hard. Ball was unkind to him. 
Still a chance to make something of it. Vince lends a hand. Couldn't shuffle it up to him. Tuck knocks it out. Martin slung. He didn't really have that. It was on the end of his finger. Good drive, Martin. Mar obviously calls that possession. The rushing board. First disposal for the quarter, Blaine. Martin. Armstrong to what? So Second. some of their big guns letting them down at Sloan. the moment. Sloan's Sloan. getting involved as well. Plenty of disposals this quarter. Petrenko. We're down to 1 minute 45. Long. McKay. Well played, Hurley. Backed into him, felt the contact and held his ground. And Rutten's had the nine disposals, and uh, he's been sweeping defensively across halfback extremely well with John Cock, who's, once again, not a massive disposal game for John Cock, but he just looks very sure and confident back there. Knocked down, Petrenko had it and then dropped it. I uh, said no prior opportunity. Throw it in. There is those clearance numbers. From the yeah. centre. Domination by the Adelaide Crows. That's Van Burlo, Vince Thompson are the keys. Flick back by Jacobs. None of his Adelaide Crow teammates were aware it was happening. Hooley got it from Martin. Gives it to Greg. Wide. Sloan off some hands. Good attack tuck. He's playing for his footy life as well. And Hooley takes off. Chance for a late score here for the Tigers. Another out. bounce. High. Vickery feeds back. Almost had it. John Cock the crumb. Now a chance for a late Adelaide score. We're down to a minute. Adelaide have the runners at half back. Riley heads wide. Gunston again. Sets it up by hand. Fitz. Shortish. Walker the target. Rance. I mentioned earlier, he's won back a few admirers from the Richmond faithful well, his performances was, this year. Played well on Tyler Walker. He only had the four disposals, Walker. It was good work from Rance on that yep. occasion. Poor play by Taylor Walker, actually. He had the back position, and the ball was only 45 metres away. He had to go towards goals. Rewald crashes that pack. Rutten the crumb. Talia gang tackled. Dispossessed. Down to 20 seconds. Martin shuffles that out. Delidio to half forward. Foley caught out of position. John Cock, he knows where the boundary is. Foley falls but knocks it up. Nahas. Seconds continue to run. To Tuck. Open goals. He looks up, gives them a side up, and then misses. Well, there's his career, one. He, he wins the ball. He's brave. Just his finishing skills. And that was a lack of composure there. He didn't understand how much time he actually had. He had time to straighten up a bit more and, and run three or four metres towards goal. Half-time siren, Amy Stadium. Round 23 encounter both the Adelaide Crows and Richmond try to finish this season strong. Adelaide under new coach Mark Bickley have won three of their last four and they have a 16 point advantage at the long change. 9 6 60 plays 6 8 44. To get off to a good start, well, I think they'll look at Webley injecting him into the game in the next 10 minutes as well. And it might be one of the uh, big forwards that's the sacrificial lamb. Adelaide by 16 with a slight breeze in this third term. Van Burlo coming off a 22 possession opening half. Gets a possession on cue here, although there's a push in the back for his simultaneous kick. Yeah. It'll be coming back. No good decision. So Vince's ball after Van Burla got the clearance. Kurt Tippett didn't think it was a good decision, so no. he'd taken the mark inside 50. Jacobs. Thompson. He's good job, Thompson. And plays on immediately. Bree starts to push that toward the goal mouth. But Nowhere near enough. Top of his game, Thompson, is he? That, oh, that's yeah. just great confidence. Now you can take the easy contested mark, but then more important, just play on. That is uh, a, a player at the top of his game. He's a big man, big, strong man for a midfielder, and uh, can take those contested marks as well as cover an enormous amount of territory. Up to 22 disposals now. First field wide, Hooley. Oh. Free flowing game early in the opening term. It's a little stagnant to start here, this third term. It's Delidio Marks. Yeah, Hooley's had the 10 disposals, but he's one of those players that really needs to get into the game a bit more. He sets up so well with Delidio off half back and gives them inside 50 options as well. So he's won after his uh, game against the Sydney Swans a couple of weeks ago. He needs to get back to that form today. Dustin Martin with a position coming off just a nine position opening half. Van Burlo to Vince again. Half forward. Light, no mark. Gunston off hands. Rance, the Lydio. 
tucked into the boundary. Keeps it alive. And nice attack, Vickery. Takes off. Hands to Jackson. Good and need a fire start of the Tigers. Hooley sends it long. Revo hardly seen it. And Rutten beats him yeah. here. Knocks it away, but to Foley. Hands it back. Miller has the shot from the pocket. No, well Tapped through by John Cobb. Well, let's take nothing away from Rutten either. He's played on Revo the last two occasions. He's only kicked the four goals. It's just the body strength. See the body spoil there from Rutten. He disguised it beautifully. A player with less experience would have given away a free yeah. kick there. Armstrong and Edwards do some dancing. Petrenko does some mark on mark. They've got a beat in the air. But Danny's rewalk playing into Rutten's hands by engaging body work. He just took his eye off the line of the ball. He should have just kept going at the ball. Absolutely, Jacko. And he started behind as well, so he was almost a kick and a half away. So he wants it over the back. Vince runs inside 50 from 48. Oh, he punched the air as soon as it left his boot. Well, they're on song, they're on song. The, the Tigers go inside their forward 50, as you talk about, just from coast to coast. That is just amazing transference of play. And we talked about it at half time, Alistair. Richmond are going to make the choice whether the zone dangerous space or man up. At the moment, they're on the picket fence. They're doing neither, and they're just opening up because the, the ball use of Adelaide is the difference. They're going at 64%. They're using the ball extremely well, and their midfielders are now kicking plenty of goals. Biggest lead of the game, 22 points. There's a bit on this for Adelaide as well. They it don't is. win today. They could still have their worst ever ladder finish in club history, which is 13th under Malcolm Blight, and they're 14th right now coming into this game. We just need the Richmond midfield to get into the play because the Adelaide midfielder kicked five goals between them. Van Burlo and Vince, two, and Thompson, one. King got it from Cochin. Here's to the square. Jack Rebolt's down there. This That's time... Better. And he marked that in the square, so there'll be no angle. Well, Rutten will be looking exactly the umpires are free. There's no free kick. He'll be disappointed with that, Rutten, because he had to play goal side. He elected to play in front. And all the dangerous space, and that was only two metres. And that could be the spark for him and his team. Look, it was well done by Jack Rewalt yeah, because it was. it was a good kick and he protected the drop zone, so the dangerous side. So, essentially... He's essentially playing in front here because it's, where, it's all relative to where the ball's going to land. So engage Rutten's body and had enough strength to hold him off. So that was a, a good uh, piece of play. But you don't want to do that sort of stuff 30, 40 metres out from goal. You've got to get on the move. What, what thing Rutten should have done is just spoil the ball. He looked at Rewalt, took his eyes off the ball, just spoil it over the line. Interesting where he marked that ball too. Did he mark it inside the goal square? Just. Oh, just uh, I think by it's about that, minus a metre. Oh, I think it's the defender coming at me, Dwayne. I would have been asking the question if I was right. Absolutely. But as a forward, Next you get year a... we might be able to go to the video replay. Ooh, might be be great. It. But uh, good work for uh, Rewild because it helps his confidence and it helps the midfield of the Richmond side as well to get the ball in quickly to him. John Cocktail to play on. Defence to Armstrong to Riley. The slow. 16 points the margin. Adelaide kicking with a slight breeze in this third. Douglas. Which we're getting three of numbers back. Sloan. This is where the Richmond need to be manic though, Alistair. They they zone a couple of areas and then they just drop off. So yeah. Adelaide pull the trigger on any free target. This is better from the Tigers. Forced to kick it long. Tough ball to grab. Tip it with a fist in the end. Well, that was a bit of... Let's have a look at this mark from Jack Rewald. Now, if he marks it inside the square... Oh, come on. <laughs> okay. I knew I was right, Dwayne. There's that old defender coming out, Dwayne. I think he just chuggled it on the way back, didn't uh, he? <laughs> I would have asked the question. I'd be still asking it, wouldn't you? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you wouldn't move on real quick. <laughs> Free kick. Van Burla had a shot, but it'll be Wright's ball. Unless... Sometimes the umpires say you played on to advantage. He played on there and kicked it out on the full. And it comes back to right. Just on his limit, you would think. So the advantage rule didn't count there? Or? No. There's a, a softening of the interpretation of right. that rule, I think, as the season's gone on, because I think they're anticipating it's going to get sacked. Right, <laughs> OK. 
Matthew Wright. That's what he has ahead of him. Not bad off the boot. Across the face. The Adelaide Crows have been pretty yeah. good in this uh, position here. They get the right. zone in place quickly. They've got a 17 man zone, and Rutten holds back on the other side of the centre circle. So. Yep. have struggled in this facet of the game. Chris, Chris Newman talked it up pre-game, Dwayne. Sure. Yeah, kick oh, oh, That's a kicking yep. plan, is it? Yep. It hasn't worked, let me tell you. Vince kicks it goal, and that's across the face. That one certainly wasn't the plan, surely. <laughs> that, was, that was chaos theory. <laughs> I think that, that was the one where just get the ball out of the area as quickly as possible. Give it to someone else. Yep. <laughs> Hooley plays on. Tuck. Yeah. Morton. Edwards. Richmond 15th and 15th the last two seasons. They can't finish any lower than 14th this year, so at least they're on the improve, but they can finish as high as 10th as well. They get motoring here and win this one. There's a bit on it for the Tigers as well. Tying up. That's got to be yeah. ball or two high. Yeah. Dropping the ball. Yeah. Holding the ball. Probably no Haas and Jake King have had no connection at all to those half forwards. I reckon, uh, what was it in the second term? Let's have a look. There's Jake King. No Haas giving the hands, no. <laughs> not today. Probably reading a little bit much into that, but uh, I'm with you. He was a bit disgruntled after not getting uh, something at the top of the goal square. Well, I think it was in the second quarter. Second where quarter, that was the Jake one. Jake King really did burn No Haas. John Cock to Petrenko. Couldn't get near that. Poor kick to Lidio. Takes the mark. If both these teams can finish as high as 10th or as low as 14th. So there is a bit on offer to them in terms of momentum heading into the summer. Absolutely. As a, as a young team, and especially Richmond, you just need to finish off with a bit of uh, momentum, a bit of confidence going into the pre-season. Rewild, better. That's really good work. He's just got rid of his opponent then and ran and then jumped. Hands it off. Deledio long. Off hands, Nahas can't keep it alive and we'll get a ball in. Yeah, at least win loss ratio wise, Richmond won only six games last year in Damien Hardwick's first year. They've won seven and a half so far this year. Well, the craft's going the right way, Dwayne. That's yeah. the main thing. Jackson outside of the boot to full forward. Miller. Need to get Miller into the game. Yeah, he needs to make a mark. Well, Miller he almost kicks that out oh. on the fourth. I don't think he was. Well, Miller might be the sub. He might well, uh, get uh, flicked over with Webberley at the moment. He hasn't had a major impact on the game with the four disposals and uh, no marks at all. So, as a key forward, you just need to be giving more. So, they might just mix it up at the yeah. moment, get Webberley into the game. Jacobs, palm down, nice. Nahas attacks it. And that looked a little out. Yeah, well, there was a lot out. up now, right at the spot. What was your winning losses in uh, the year you got the flick, Spudley? Uh, yeah. <laughs> just yeah, it wasn't great. It was. I think I. Well, I don't know. I resigned sort of nine games to go, and I don't think we won one after that. So, but not to be to raise it though, Alistair. That's what I just bring yeah. up. No, Thanks, last team to take him to the finals. Yeah, that's true. Coaching the third, long inside fifty, knocked down by McKernan. Sloan luckily was there. The dangerous spot to be punching away to. John Cock backtracks. Armstrong, danger. Rutten. They've got the numbers to get away with this. John Cock again with some run. Sloan's on the move. Gets there on the gather. Nice. Yeah, the Walker. Forward. Sloan. They line up. Petrenko's in the middle by himself. Oh, Riley, a little still. fumble. He's still on Petrenko, Lynchy. <laughs> so Petrenko takes the mark. Tippett just on the ground as well. So Dangerfield now sees Tippett. Yeah, He's got a longer if he wants it. It's and he goes the longer to Gunston. Take Hands it, it off. Right. Goal square. Over the top. Douglas. How easy was that? Back in, back in the old days, but we used to do a training drill called circle work. And yep. that's what that was. They had numbers running. It was a, like a simulated game situation. But uh, the power running from uh, the Adelaide Crows and probably lack of defensive running, to be fair, Richmond was really Sweet. disappointing. So there's four on one there in the screen. And I think uh, in the forward 50, there was more numbers favouring the Adelaide Crows as well. So good running from the Crows. But I reckon Damien Hardwick would be really disappointed with that effort. Not adding that, you just uh, 
Look why we got their entire... Tyrone Vickery, boys, has just come off the uh, field. His right shoulder is holding, so whether it's popped out of the back, he's uh, looking at it. Well, he's the only four that looks like Mark here, Choco, so he, he could be subbed out if he's uh, in a lot of trouble. But you're right, Alistair, the, the lack of defensive pressure from the Tigers, they, they just ball watch too much. They just... Watch the ball for half oh. a second, and that's half a second too long in today's game. Beer came shoulder by Petrenko on first field. How good is that? Tigers at breaking strain right now. Pivotal point yeah. in this game. Right here, right now. You can sense it, Blaine. And just have a look. You just see the the Vickery injury here. Now he's wrestling. Oh, I didn't see a lot. Not a lot, a lot in it, in it which a, means... Obviously that's... a fair bit of concern as it goes back into oh, no. place. Never comfortable when you just go to shoulder. First field under this and eventually takes the mark. Yeah, Vickery, sometimes they take an enormous yeah. amount of time to get it back in. It seems like an enormous amount. Yeah, it is when you're in excruciating pain. Grants, Farmer. 23 points the margin. Biggest lead of the game. What have the Tigers got in response? Hurley can't gather that. Boundary line is only out and he can't get it across. Douglas. Well, if you fumble in today's footy, the pressure triples. And that's what Basha Hurley did on that occasion. Danger field, free kick, and again, though, advantage yeah. paid. They played on advantage with a handball, and it's brought he's back, down. and he's down, maybe with a shoulder problem as well. Pretty danger field, but it, it started from the Basha Hurley fumble. Yep. Just a simple fumble, they were going. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. So Douglas plays on here with a handball, as we see danger field mm. hurt. But no play on advantage. The umpire essentially deciding there was no advantage there. Yeah, they'll switch the ball here and they've done it extremely well today. So Rutten to Armstrong. He has a paddock. Talia. Doing okay. Daniel Talia. It's game number eight. That kick works okay. Tip it. Petrenko. Tip it. Oh, how easy is this to watch right now? Adelaide Pro fans really enjoying the step up in momentum. Petrenko oh, runs into a high oh. one. The oh. crowd getting involved in every passage of play. I thought he ducked into that one. They can sense the kill. Short pass, Talia, who's never kicked an AFL goal. It's so a big moment for him. And he doesn't take it. Fence. Oh, he launches that from outside 50, and he can't quite bring it around. He leads a danger times now, as you said, Dwayne. The, the Richmond body language, that's what I'm disappointed in at the moment. I know they're playing away. They haven't got the crowd to, to generate. The, you need your leaders now to generate some enthusiasm. It's all Adelaide at the moment. And, boys, you mentioned about ball watching in the Adelaide 450. I mean, Bernie Vince was there for a fair while when Taylor had that ball. So, bad manning up there by Richmond again. Rewop jumps into it. Big fist McKernan. Delidio crumbs it to Cochin. Heads out wide to King. Now, he can get and go. Open hearts. spaces. Martin's running into right. the space. If it bounces, he will go. It bounced unkindly initially. Oh. Gets it, <laughs> toes it, just, and keeps them in it. That's a good coast to coast. That's great for their confidence, the Tigers. One of the few times they've been able to maintain possession the length of the ground. I think that was a great option there from Jake King. Kick the ball long towards the goal. So when Martin picks the ball up, if all, he does. It, yeah, <laughs> all he has to do is kick straight. There was a very good long kick there from Jake King. And as we saw there, Martin nearly made a meal of it. But at least he got on the scoreboard. And, and now that Rewalt and Martin have got a couple of goals, we'll generate some hope from the Tigers. 18 points, three goals the margin. Adelaide with a slight breeze in this third. Tigers will come home with it. That was a great run by yeah. Dustin Martin. He had too much leg speed for Armstrong. 16 minutes gone in this third. You find a yard when you know you're running into an open Absolutely. goal. Absolutely. Dangerfield. Van Burlo. Dangerfield. Otten. Possessions all the way back to half back. And now out of play on the wing. The key one is when you're running defensively and it's not your man, yeah. you probably lose a yard. When it's your man, you go very hard. Is Tyrone Vickery just getting work on that uh, AC joint? In the right shoulder. Well, I'll give him another five to ten minutes you'd think and if he doesn't you know, come on shortly Webley will I'll sub him on Edwards a wobbly inside 50 Martin lurking again oh, Rebel okay. well done. hands over to Martin unselfishly Nahas kicks it into the lake 
Oh, this is terrific. Rewalt Martin now generating some play. We saw it last week yep. against Melbourne when Martin went forward. Look at, the, look at the body strength of Martin. He knocks over the defender. Then he gets the handball from Rewalt. That is really unselfish play. And the facts are, he's knocked over Rutten, who's a big, strong boy. And you're right, Alistair, I haven't seen Martin go to ground yet. You yep. said you wanted to see him go to ground. Well, he, he has held feet today. And to knock over Rutten is a very, very good effort. Great goal, Tigers. Yeah, important goals, some key contributors getting involved, which is a, a big thing. Here's the tap. Now, have a look at this Jack Rewalt. Uh, Ooh, that's yeah, a throw, right. isn't it? Did he actually hit well, that fist? After looking at that, he needs to work on his left hand ball. <laughs> Jeez, absolutely, but uh, good goal. Well, the Crows did initiate the crow throw, didn't they? Well, yeah, that's true. Andrew Probably, German. Yeah, there's one back. Danger field to stop this Richmond run on. Farmer feeds back onto it and rolls out of play. Richmond's recent form's been good. Wins over Sydney. Didn't they prove that form exceptional yesterday? And Melbourne coming into this. And it, was, it was a good win by uh, Richmond over Melbourne last week too. They were challenged in that third term. Really good last uh, last quarter under pressure. Jeremy Webley there for Green Best on, just limbering up on the boundary line. And in those wins, boys, their third quarters was quite uh, exceptional, and they're winning this one, so that's important for them. Yes, if you've joined us late, Adelaide led by 13 points at quarter time, by 16 at half time, and now lead by 12. Richmond did hold a one goal lead early in the opening term. But it's been all Adelaide with the lead since then. Farmer appeared to be caught high. Crowd thought he dropped into it. Oh. Sloan gets the benefit of the doubt. Again, plenty of time to get this zone in, in place. So Rewalt can't jump. McKernan yep. fist. Rewalt. Yeah, good decision. Free for a yeah. Well, Riley was the one that initiated contact, but the ball wasn't within five moves. So great decision from the umpire. And a good kick from Rewalt to King. They've kicked the last two of the Tigers. Martin. Martin inside 50. Tried the chest mark. Thumped yeah. away. Had to extend the arms there, Brian. Riley, look away, handball to Jackson. Centering ball, they've got the numbers. Rance has drifted down and he drops the mark. McKay pumps it out. Cochin now drops one. King bobs up that little mess. Hands back to Cochin. Or oh, throw, right, yeah. call it what you like. But Griggs mark. Just in fact, it's Miller just inside 50. We haven't there. seen Miller yeah. all day. That's this is his kick. moment. That's the free kick. That's well picked up by the umpire against Brent Riley. I think Rance got excited. Wayne, he hadn't been in that area before. What was the free kick, kick for? Kick. Against Ringwell? Uh, Brent Riley holding under the arm. Two kicks, two handballs. No goal so far for Brad Miller. This to cut the margin back to one kick. From the paint. Hits it sweetly. Yeah. That's as sweet as it gets. Game on. Well, that's uh, very important. Martin's been involved. Jack Rewald's been involved. And uh, now Brad Miller's kicked the goal as well. So some of those key contributors from the last few weeks have been uh, quite good. And uh, we thought Miller might have been the one to go off if Vickery's shoulder comes up OK. But uh, that might keep him out on the ground for just a little bit longer now that they're back in touch and they've kicked the last three goals have the Tigers to bring the margin back just to the one straight goal and all of a sudden Adelaide Crows are under pressure. And Jagovic, any... Yeah, Tyrone Vickery yeah. back on boys which is a good sign uh, for Richmond now that they've kicked uh, the last three goals. Well it is positive because Miller's now had a had a shot. Yep. Rewalt. They're dominating these last ten minutes the Tigers. More importantly they're scoring. Jacob knocks it down but Foley almost the clearance. Hurley, slick, slung, no free kick. Goes back in and gets the clearance, Graham. Rolls it towards King. Initially had it, but fumbled it. McKay, likewise. Back to Jackie King. Got a nudge. Is he, is he, and Trent Cochin's the other way. Six disposals to Cochin. Big momentum swing. There he is again, Cochin. Short pass was an option. Off hands, Miller. Nahas, run down, but gets a kick away. Won't be 15, O'Reilly, caught by John Cox from behind. Obviously a legal possession, crowd on it ball. Umpire was right there, 
15 players around this ball. John Cock tied up. Ball up. 22 minutes gone, third term. Richmond coming home with the breeze in the last, and they're a goal down. Thompson being a little bit quieter with Van Berlo in this quarter. Just three disposals apiece. Two Ruckman tie up. Koch in the clearance. Play on. McKay straight up in the air. This will be play on as well. Greg stands under it. Good grab. Takes off. Gets away. Hits the hot spot to the square. Rewalt. Manhandled. Oh, Vickery. Vickery. Just on. Superb. Great courage, Vickery. If you're going to test the shoulder in a contested mark situation, this was an unbelievable. And Trent Cotchin, seven disposals, four contested possessions. He's pumping the ball inside four at 50. So this will lift the, the Richmond Army. They would have known that Vickery was off the ground with a shoulder injury. This is a big kick. That's a great grab. Unbelievable. Just after your shoulder's been put yeah. back into the socket. Some booze. Umpire pulls him around a bit. Didn't call him to play on. The Crows fans believe he took the side step. Should have yeah. just been play on. Yeah. Umpire gives him the benefit of the doubt. Well, well done. He got away with it. This is a massive kick to level the scores. Yeah. Post. Got close to the man on the mark. Five points to the margin. 38,000 here at Amy Stadium, getting their money's worth. Graham almost the mark. Was mark. He controlled it for mine. Edwards gives the handball up. King, no nudge. Taken out by Jacobs. And should we talk about half time? It was upside for Richmond, and it's been their midfield and their half backs, Deledio and Hooley, the yeah. and Co. And they've had. 11 disposers between them, but they're going 100%. So they're using the ball extremely well, the two half backs for the Tigers. Dangerfield to Riley. Torpedo to the middle. Backing back, that's better for Rance. Yeah, that's a really good mark. Going back with the flight of the ball. And uh, in slightly blustery conditions, a good ground. Graham makes the ground. Gets one back on Jacobs. He's got Morton. And he hits the hot spot. Rewalt's got to run here. Goes up, can't bring it down, off hands, King, having a good quarter, Jackson on the left, to the square, Vickery, Vickery again, punch through, four points the margin. You said to one know, Jake King getting involved, he's at the six disposals, he's one of those barometer players for clubs, and uh, he's at six this quarter, and he's driving the ball inside 50 on three occasions, so really valuable contribution at the moment, after being quite early. Yeah, he of the famous quote, I'd hate to play on me, <laughs> Jake King. That's a big rap. <laughs> That's a great quote, though. Well, he's backing himself in. Yeah. He's, he's oh. backing his Tigers teammates in at the moment because he known in that, the second quarter, he had three shots at goal for three behind. So he's lifted. And that's what you want from a coach. If it doesn't work for you early, you can't do much about the past, but you can make an impact in the future. Edwards to Hooley, ran into that tackle by Thompson. Douglas gets it up, Sloan grabs it nicely, gives to Armstrong, tries to oh, get away, turns it up to King, the man of the moment, short pass. John Cock lays a tackle on Riley. Now Riley can't get away. Great tackle from Deledio. He's lifted to us, the Richmond leader. Defensive pressures are really picked up and their reaction time when it transfers from offensive to defensive uh, pressures, Not they only pick that. on much quicker. Dangerfield. Dangerously, Armstrong, Thompson, just got away. Greg puts it back and long to the square. And is that a mark? Vickery's grabbed it just over the line. Of course, they're winning the ball with Tigers and they're using it. We talked at halftime, 54%. Yeah. Kicking efficiency, they're now going at 74%. And because they're putting pressure on Adelaide, they've dropped down to 66 So. It's amazing when you compete hard, you defend well, you tackle, all of a sudden your ball use improves. Enjoyable contest right now. Four minutes left to three-quarter time. John Cox straight down the middle. Walker couldn't bring the mark down. Dangerfield crumbs. Court. Hamill misses the target. Martin looks up. Got a couple of options. Now White Creek. He bumped as the kick. Heads long and just offline. And it's down to a two-point lead. That's amazing. Four goals, five this quarter. 13 inside 50s. Adelaide kicked a couple of goals early. It's been all the Tigers. 
Riley entrusted with the kick in this time. John Cock being sacked. McKernan. Well, we said during the second term how there was a lot of time spent in the forward 50 for Richmond, but they didn't yep. capitalise on those opportunities. Right. One goal six in that second term, but they've been able to put this ball through the big sticks in this term. Good punch, Rance, but down to a murderer Crows. Sloan, Van Burlo, McKay. Not a lot to go too long, realises that. Gunston's the man. Bounce kindly, being shut down by Tuck. Centering kick. Oh, you oh, right. well done. Can't take the mark. What a kick from Gunston, I do. That was a clever kick. Riley should have marked that. No, he should have drawn, but Gunston just plays the opportunity. Have a look. Yeah, he kept his eyes on the ball. Well done. He just unfortunately tried to take it too safe a mark. Just game five for Aiden Riley, and maybe it showed right there. I think he uh, felt the pressure of yep. his teammate Douglas coming in as well. Sloan calls for a free, doesn't get it. Tippett grabbed Van Burlo. Bumped by Delidio. Gets it up to Tuck. The Foley. They're inspired right now, the Tigers. Vince with the punch. Cochin, front spot. Held his position. Gives to Jackson. Vickery the target. He's got two to beat Ty. Knocks it down nicely, oh, though. Nahas couldn't trap it. Rutten does. James lifted a cog or two. Good Stolen good back by Revolt. Yeah. He's got options of plenty. Briggs over the top. He can give them the lead. Adelaide by two points. Hands to Jack King. Tigers in front. Oh, unbelievable. Rutten didn't want to... He didn't want the ball in his hands. You could see he was looking for a handball. He was looking for a kick. He was just stationary. Have a look at this. He didn't know what to do with it, and he kicked the ball to Revolt. His opponent. Well, which is falling on your own sword, Lynchy. And then, of course, Grigu's playing on the half-back line. And that this is an amazing turnaround. An amazing turnaround the last 20 minutes of this third quarter. It's all about desire and want. Now Adelaide are turning the ball over, and which, more importantly, are kicking the majors. Four goals in a row for the Tigers, and Jeremy Webberley has taken the vest off. Surely it's not Jake yeah. King. He's getting no, the red jacket. He's on fire. He's, he's on the phone. Well, he's, kicked, he's had eight disposals, four inside fifties in the goal, Jake King. Just for the quarter. To me, it won't be Jake. Big couple of minutes coming up here to three-quarter time. Martin, who's had an influence, misses that target. Trenko. He took that tackle on, but he didn't have any prior. Umpire surely will sort this out. Umpire praising them. Great contest, boys. If Adelaide don't win today, they could still have their worst season ever. Their worst ladder finish. They're 14th now. They've never finished worse than 13th. Jacobs knocks it down. Jackson. Farmer. To the wing, Morton tracks it. Out of play, and for the Tigers, well, we know they're the perennial ninth finisher over time, but they could finish as high as tenth. And they finish with four wins in a row, and there Jack he is. Jacko, we know who. Yeah, the Jamie O'Reilly boys for Jeremy Webberley. Oh, uh, well done. Okay, so the Irishman's done for the day. Jackson pumps it inside 50. Off hands. Oh, Miller this. back of the pack. Remont wants it. Miller goes for it himself. This is they it. lead by ten. Inspired. They've come from the absolute rafters yeah. there. Kicking efficiency is much better, but uh, they're just up and about. Their defensive pressures are really turned around, and they've got numbers. They're running forward in a wave, and uh, Brad Miller, that really couldn't draw one early in the uh, first half, has come out and kicked a couple of important goals. Good contest, I think, with Monobin Nahas, who's coming through there. Just loose made a contest. And uh, Miller gets on the scoreboard again, and all of a sudden, the Crows are in enormous minutes of problems going into uh, three-quarter time. Five goals in a row for Richmond. O'Reilly done for the day in the red vest. Big one minute 35 coming up here. Dangerfield tried to manufacture something. Knocked out again by Dangerfield. He got his own ball. Sends it long. Tip it. He needs to grab it. Back of the pack. Rance does well. Just got a palm onto it. Farmer to Rance to Tuck. This is the different Tigers in the last 15 minutes. That just eludes the line. Out on the full. They Adelaide need... gets some luck. Yeah, absolutely. They need some luck here. At, uh, or need some efficiency. They must score a goal before three-quarter time.
Wright puts it up long. Edwards from three deep. Left it behind. Mops up his little mess. Almost the turnover by hand. Van Burlo can't track it. Have a look at uh, Rutten here playing safety footy. He's, he's initiating contact. Contact. What he should have been doing, he's still worried about that turnover about a minute beforehand. Just go with the ball. Just go with the ball and back yourself in. Flick down. Jackson to Lidio. Stripped of it. Goes back to try and get it post. Slips out of a tackle. De Lidio back. Little pop pass Farmer. Revolt. Lending a hand. Down to 45 seconds. Big last term coming up at Amy Stadium. The last home and away game here for the year. The Adelaide Crows, last home game for the year. Rewalt Re going behind the ball since David Hardwick wants this score to remain at three quarter time. Jacobs to Thompson, down to 30 seconds. Should have been high, didn't get one. Up by said he ducked. Riley caught now. Ball up. Couple yes. of breaks not going Adelaide's way now. No, he just went and ducked back into play, did Thompson, but uh, certainly high contact, so a little unlucky there. Mark Bickley has backed these boys in. No change of selection this week. John Cock takes them on. Down to 10 seconds. Oh. Mark to right. This is hurt. They kicked one on the buzzer a quarter ago. Wright gets a chance to do it again. After being under enormous Jeez. pressure, considering oh. those uh, handful of goals, this one just before three-quarter time, or on the three-quarter time buzzer, just what the Crows need. 17 goals, 8 for the season. And it might soften the spray yeah, from Mark Bickley as well. I don't think it will. So he knows where they are. To break a run of 5 goals in a row for the Tigers and give them some momentum. That'll pump up the volume. Well done, sir. Big round of applause for Mark Bickley as he heads downstairs. Adelaide Crows trying to make it four out of five under Mark Bickley. They've got the job ahead. It's a four-point lead to the Tigers at three-quarter time, and they'll be coming home with the breeze. 12-9-81 plays 12-13-85. They had an outstanding first half, so they need to lift. Cochin, Deledio, Jake King, they were tremendous in that third quarter. Can they respond? Final term underway, palm down perfect for Van Burlo Thompson. That kick tells the story. Naha stands under it. The tide has turned here. Naha oh. short, Revolt. How's this for a start? Well, there you go, Jack Rewalt. Uh, doing what he do does best, I reckon, against a big forward or a big defender like Ben Rutten. Get on the lead and honoured by a very nice uh, bit of lace out work by uh, Robbie Naha. And that's a very nice pass. You'd suspect Jake Rewald will get the Tigers off to a very good start and just slot this one through. Massive kick for momentum. Adelaide kicked the last goal of the third term. Drifting a little, drifting a lot. That's a good miss. It's amazing the efficient football of Richmond are playing, Lynchy. 235 disposals, Richmond. Adelaide, 315. So. <laughs> 80 more disposals, yet the inside 50s are 39 each. So yeah, they're yeah. using the ball well, the Tigers. They are, and it's uh, really picked up after that, uh, after the first quarter where they were a bit rusty by foot. John Cock entrusted with the kick in. Talia was the target. So going to the young gun in game number eight. It was their kick out man. Bright sunshine from the outset. Perfect conditions for football. And we're getting a game. Jackson rolls it to full forward. Vickery just off his toe. He keeps it in. Martin. Pocket. Took on the oh. tackler there. Riley's got him. Got to be gone. Well, we got him the ground, Spud. It took two players, though, legit. That's right. Very strong man, but just try to take yeah. on uh, John Cock and go over the top of him. We had no idea that Riley was behind him. Oh. Riley gunshot. Jim McKernan. Dangerous handball. It was dangerous. To kick across defensive goal anyway, and we'll get a ball in. Richmond by five points. Tell her looking nervy. Oh, yeah. Adelaide. Adelaide are playing like they were yeah. a month ago. Yep. Jacobs knocks it down. You don't say that. Mark Bickley's done quite well. Oh, he has. Yeah, he's done very Rick. well. Just slipped back a little bit in the last hour. To back when Neil Craig was yeah, coaching. Sometimes old habits die hard, right? Vince, a little one-two. Well, they're way here. And 
and no 50. But he takes off. It's wide and cut off by Tuck. Well read. Well, that was fantastic by Tuck because the Crows were away. Hits the top of the square. Revolve. Oh. Just couldn't pluck it. Martin, he kicked that from midair. And Vickery pops it home. They lead by 11. It's their biggest lead of the game. Well, it was great work from Tuck to intercept the exit outside uh, from defensive 50. And then it was to Rewald. Now, he didn't take the mark, but he was on the move again, which is very, really pleasing to see. So he got rid of his How opponent. He dropped the mark, and it was only a defensive spoil from our Adelaide teammate. But uh, they got to Rutten out of stride. But then it was Martin over to Tyrone Vickery for his third goal. And they've absolutely come alive, the Tigers. That's the goal assist of the year for Martin. Isn't it? That is, that is ballet like. Harry Kuehl. Mark Bickley under some pressure now. He's got Scotty Burns looking over his shoulder in the grandstand. Absolutely. All the contenders who want the Adelaide job is having a look at this with interest. Bounce to restart it. Flick down, Graham. Everything working for them. Dangerfield trying to turn the momentum back. Sends it too wide, though. Gunston can't get there. Ball in. If you've joined us late, Adelaide led by 24 points in the third term. Getting into a strong grows. And now it's Richard by 11. An amazing transformation. Graham knocks it down. You sense there might be another twist or two yet, though. Jacobs. Edwards slipped through a couple. Cochin. Dainty. Miller. Poor first half. Big third quarter. Revolt, likewise, same story. Poor yeah. first half. Just a right. four possession first half for Jack Revolt. We yeah, didn't see that in the first half. That's no. just a sheer attack on the ball. That's the thing, he's attacking up at the ball rather than just continually trying to go backwards. Vickery jumps. Hooley, the crumb. King Martin. again, Martin. and Martin's on his own. Yeah. Takes off. Danger signs for the Crows. Dustin Martin, we saw it last week, just in the right spot at the right time. We'll start with Jack Rewalt. You have a kick to a contest, out the back head, victory three on one. Then Basha Hurley rode beautifully. King, great awareness, had Webley on the inside. Martin kicks the goal. The real danger signs now for the Adelaide Football Club. And that's what you want. You want Vickery contesting, even if he's outnumbered, making a good contest and forcing the ball to ground. You want Rewalt attacking the ball as well. Showed some great intestinal fortitude last week. The Tigers, boy, they've shown it again today. Well, yeah. 15 disposals, two goals. And Dustin Martin kicked two critical goals in the second half last week when he was moved to full forward as well. But uh, for mine, the fact that Vickery has been very effective and Rewalt and Miller have got into the game, just making big contests when needed. And Nathan boys, Riley down the race. Yeah, sorry, uh, Dwayne, he's just gone down the race with the blood rule. And funny enough, uh, Brody Martin still not being substituted yeah. into the game. I guess a question for you boys upstairs, who would you take out for Adelaide? Well, might be the lad then went down with the blood rule. Mm. Uh, that was the one I was looking at, Jago. But Adelaide had about 11 disposals and 33% efficiency. Since the half time, they've, they've really put the flamethrower to the ball, Adelaide. They get a break. Jacobs gets a free. Van Berlo, who had an outstanding first half, hands it up to Thompson, to Vince, to John Cock, who gives them run. Could go for goal himself. Puts it up high. It's touched. It'll be play on. Bounce up tight for Morton. Tap down. Right. Runs into a gang tackle. Tapped away by Morton again. Big bump on Hooley. He's down behind play, but he won't mind. The Tigers come up with it. Tuck. Hands over the top. Webberly. Fresh sub on. Sizes the options up. And he oh, hits right Nahas. Lace out. King's running for him. Nahas. Hands to King. He's generated some momentum. Puts it up. Square. Oh, Revolt. Not quite. Talia lends a hand, last line of defence. Jacobs, Crows are not done with. Riley from half back. 17 points the margin. Ooh. Short pass to Walker. Riley to half forward, Douglas. And now they start to run again. Options are plenty. 
Puts it on the boot for Van Berlo. Back tracks. Fantastic grab. We just see the ball bounce from one end of the ground to the other. Play on again. Central kick and a one-hander from Taylor Walker. Yeah, I think it was meant for Gunston. Yeah, good flat. Yeah, no, well, Walker did well in the end. And Van Berlo's lifted. He's lifted the start of his last quarter. And boys, Brady Martin's come in for Sean McKernan. So, uh, substitution for Adelaide Crows. Here's the John Cook bump on Basher Hooley. Hasn't had much of a day, Taylor Walker. Two kicks, no goals. From the paint. Makes it his moment. He's made the most of him. There hasn't been a massive impact on the game up until this uh, stage, but he got involved on a couple of occasions in this play. He had a big hit from John Cock on uh, Basher Hooley, and uh, he was very sore and slow to get up. But the transformation from Richmond from defence to forward, and then a deep turnover caused Adelaide to go once again the length of the field, 165 metres, and they just took it up to Taylor Walker. And he's a very nice kicker goal when he's uh, in form, and that was what they needed. Crowd noise cracking up again here at Amy Stadium. Last home game of the year for the Adelaide Crows. McKernan in red. Mark almost, still almost. Dangerfield, likewise almost, does come free. Vince, Armstrong, and now the Crows believe all of a sudden. Douglas, Sloan. He's got hands. Good hands. Perfect kick. Barber tried the hardest ball. Just protecting the ball drop beautifully, Sloan. Walker wants it long. He's ignored. Gunston the man. And Post yeah, the fist away from Gunston. Well, it wasn't a great kick no, in the end. It had to go into the corridor to uh, Taylor Walker to have a jump at it. But it was in no way an advantage of the uh, Adelaide players. Umpire parking instructions pulled down to Lidio. Breaks through the pack, post, wobbles it outside, 50, Vince, couldn't trap it, King falls, Vince goes down, hands it up just in time, short pass back inside, 50, tip it, Van Berlo, heads back, Jacobs just out of his reach, Farmer runs onto it, boundary line there if he wants it, realises it, uses it. Well, 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 the undertaking position of the ball, he knew he was going to be tackled, so just beautifully paddled along the band line. Graham goes down here with his ruck situation. It looked nasty, but he's back on his feet. It's getting tense now. Only playing for pride, but it means a lot to these two. Walker, kick smothered. Sloan, tucked up against the line. Centering kick. Danger ball, chaos ball. Tippett got a knee on it. Bounces out of play. They expect uh, they've got uh, both Jacobs and Tippett down there for this stoppage. So you'd imagine whether it's Tippett or one of the other players, a third up jumper trying to drag it back into the middle of the ground would be a good idea. Palm down, throws with the numbers around it. Wright gets it up. Riley slips one tackle. Caught! Holding the ball. Didn't get it on his boot. They've left the young player, Aiden Riley, in game five out there. Taking McKernan off as the sub. Revol. Good fist, McKay. Didn't give the free away. Jackson caught. Back to Revol. Some points from the Tigers. Cochin, half forward. Riley with him. Uses the fist. Cochin keeps his feet. Right, Gathers, right. turns, rolls it. Nahas is way. He's got the handle over the top. Right, Vickery needs to be precise. Time, space. No poise. Uh, Trent Cochin, that was outstanding under extreme pressure. Not only to win the ball, to get the ball forward. Straight down the middle. Cut off oh, by Cochin. Cochin again. Great work, Cochin. His work rate uh, has been fantastic. Gets involved almost every time there's an Adelaide player with the ball in the hand. He's chasing defensively and another key moment in this game. Well, 21 disposals, 16 contested possessions. He wins all the hard balls. He's been a shining light since half time. This kick for a three goal lead. It'll be the first time they've led by three goals today. Yeah. Amazing. 
Well, they've come from uh, pretty much nowhere. I mean, they were just uh, butchering the ball early in the game, but uh, they've worked their way back into this. And it's these defensive type pressures. They had a structure in place, and Cochin left his area and went to where basically two Adelaide Crows were. And looked like it was going to be a pretty easy mark, but he made up quick ground to get over and take a mark. And more importantly, they didn't do it in the uh, second term, converted their opportunities, and they're just really stretching this lead for the Adelaide Crows out to 18 points. Well, well coached Damon Harwick. That passage of play is indicative of the, the game at the moment. Yep. Riley waited. Waited for the ball. Cotchin attacked the ball. The kick wasn't great, but you've still got to attack the, attack the uh, football. An enormous amount of time still left in this. 12 minutes, three goals. That's the equation. Played 13. Rebounds. Tip it with the palm down. Foley, written. Good tackle. He's got, the high, he's got the high contact. It was good effort, good second effort from uh, Tippett. Dangerfield saw getting up. He was struggling to get up. But right shoulder playing up. Greg plays on quickly. Farmer somehow lurking on the 50 alone. He could shoot from there. Well, this is a bit, uh, a bit like uh, Richmond, uh, the way... The Adelaide Crows have been defensively at the moment, just sagging off and allowing too many Richmond players to be in space. Here's the tip at tackle, but Dangerfield over the top and just landed on that right shoulder that I think has given him some grief all day. He's kicked 4-1 this year. Mitch Farmer played a bit of football here for Port Adelaide, so should know where they are from the paint. It's across the face, Tippett gets there, but... Probably a bit early to start talking handy behinds, but that's a handy behind. 19 points, three goals, one. We've got to find some winners now, and uh, Dangerfield struggling with that shoulder injury. He was one of the real winners in that second, uh, third term, but uh, he's off injured at the moment, so they've got to find others. Well, they've got to try and get the ball outside with their kick-ins. The Richmond zone has been outstanding. Low trajectory kick rolls to the pocket. That's a big win for Richmond. Well, it is a big win. If you kick the ball in the air, Adelaide would have marked that. So, all of a sudden, Adelaide under extreme pressure in this passage of play. Well, their defensive runs really stopped now. They just can't get the ball out of their back 50. Jacobs, Rutten both got the ruck knock. Revolt. Oh, he threads that through. And it's another ball in. And, boys, Angus Graham is on the uh, bench. Uh, Brad Miller had to take the last uh, centre bounce down, but uh, he's looking OK to come back on. Revolt to do some ruck work with Jacobs. Jacobs holds his spot. Revolt from behind. Slapped it down the front. Cochin threads his way through. Can't get a possession away. Nahas runs into a gang tackle. Oh, Too high! Contact. Nahas free! I just thought it was a simple ball up, but... He's gone to ground. The umpire's in a great position. What a big kick. A big call. Good contest. He was first in there. He was the one. There. Thompson over the shoulder. He's almost spun into the Thompson tackle. The secondary yeah. tackler. You're right. The Adelaide player tackled Nahas and his shoulder went under Thompson's arm. But a... Big call. They were 24 points down, the Tigers. They've been on the ropes this entire last quarter. They're now on the canvas. I think you're right, Dwayne. They're on the canvas, and the count's up to about five, I reckon. So they've got to do something extremely quickly. Here's the, now, Nahas has to have credit for his attack the ball gone in low. But once he's bounced off the first tackle from Rutten, he's spun into the secondary tackle from Thompson. Look, it's probably right. But uh, it's just one of those ones could go either way. But Nahas deserves it, really, for his attack at the ball. And that's something Richmond need. And that's something the Adelaide Crows certainly have to rediscover. Crowd still finding voice. That's a good sign for Adelaide. That's a good sign for the Tigers, too. 11 different goal kickers last week, 10 today. They are surging to the end of 2011 Richmond. Come into this having won their last two, and their tails are up. Martin thumps it. Miller inside 50, can't go at it. Armstrong gathers, caught. Morton shrugs the tackle, gives to Webley. 
He shrugs the tackle. Gets to Jackson. Gee, this will be big. He heads toward goal. It's across the face. Pepper in the goals again. And out the 26 points. Somehow they've got to find some movement and that uh, offensive spread and run that they had early, especially in the first half, is has just disappeared at the moment from the Crows. So they need the experienced players to generate that again. From 24 down to 26 up. This is the biggest lead of the game to either side. Thompson. And Dwayne, to add to that, they've had 11 more scoring shots, so they've certainly got it inside their forward 50. And uh, in the last month, Adelaide, that's been one of their keys in stopping the opposition from getting inside the forward 50. Jacobs looks spent. Off the deck from Van Burlo. Not 15. Oh. Crowd one a free. They get it. Finally a break for Adelaide. They're moving on quickly. McKay. Oh, Douglas, a fumble. And Martin could make him pay. Oh, he runs out of the tackle, Martin. Too much strength. Heads to the goal square. Vickery. Oh. Fumble. Gathers. Runs back oh. inside. Goal. Oh, Sensational. <laughs> Great smother. Great Keeps smother. Adelaide in it. Petrenko. Vince. That was game over there. Petrenko again. Lays a shepherd. And gets a possession, almost. Dangerfield, handball missed him. He goes backwards, high free, and again, no it. Well done. The umpire Rick. yells yeah. no advantage again. So even though the Adelaide Crow player took the advantage, he makes them come back. Yeah, in his defence, he probably thought the ball might have went in the Richmond hand. So, but once you take the advantage, we're told that's it. Uh, Riley did extremely. Well. One in the marking situation, then. Great. It's too important. The smother was absolutely outstanding. That you're, was game over. Yeah, you're right, Dwayne Pipe. It was game over if that one went through. Still got a sneaky chance here. They can use this well through the corridor. They've got players available. Van Burlo got it from Riley. Gives to Armstrong. On the outer side, running is Rutten. Rewat's got to try and shut him down. Rutten has some time. Douglas is target. He goes up oh, early okay. and plucks it and plays on. John Cock in the pocket. He's well, they quite often the send him forward there. when they're in trouble. They're lining up. Vince is running into space as well. Oh, well, he needs to go back and kick it. Well, this is the hardest pocket play with that breeze. No, he's kicked many from here. Yeah, but Gunston tried from the same angle in the second quarter. That's what he has ahead of him. He bends it. Not enough. It's out of the, out full. Of the full. He's trying yeah. to kick it. Spot on, spot. Well, I just think the wind... Told you shouldn't have had a go. <laughs> no, all the way in it. The 50 metre penalty yeah, too. The, the kick was to tip it. It's as simple as that. They should have went to school on Gunston's kick in the second quarter. And the instructions from the coaching staff would have been, boys, it's impossible to score from that, that pocket there. Adelaide Crow players look at the scoreboard. They see that we're into time on. Hurley plays for 50. Yellow cards are being brought in next year. Cotchin heads wide. Webberley has some space. This is the kick to win the game. A Vickery. chest or a goal. Vickery! He wasn't going to drop that one. His oh, arm was out of the socket moments ago, and he kicks the goal to kill it off. That's his first, fourth goal. Talk about an inspired half of football for Richmond. We talked about the improvement. Webberley, the sub. Why wouldn't you go long? And you've got Vickery out there, just a beautiful contested mark, played on, had a rush of blood, but I didn't, on, I didn't mind it, I didn't mind it then, he probably wanted to take the pressure off, he noticed it, but have a look at the mismatch here, and he dropped one about two minutes ago, so he wanted to make sure he did the right thing by his team, because they worked extremely hard in the midfield. Now Mark Bickley under some pressure, and this is his job interview. Absolutely. The first time with the coach's hat on, he's been under extreme pressure, but they have the loss against the Cats. But that was a very good performance from Adelaide, but they need to bounce back quickly here. Supporters are starting to leave too, Luchy. Graham knocks it down. Jackson breaks free. Handballs it to Nahas inside 50. Decked. Rewalk suddenly is inspired. What about Ty Vickery? The doctors or Ty Vickery, someone made the decision when his arm came out of the socket. Yep. Do you want to be subbed off mm. or not? Yeah, because it was the right time to sort of get uh, Webley into the game. Mm. But he said, no, I want to go back on. They put his arm back in the socket. And he's kicked two goals in this last quarter. Webley breaks free. Gives it to Nahas. Touched on the line for Trenka. But it's 33 points the margin. 22 minutes gone and they're celebrating. Yeah, Petrenko plays on quickly. Got to get it moving. Tiger fans going crazy. They've made the trip. And right now, the plane ticket looks worth the money. 
Just that uh, efficiency off halfback's been a uh, massive issue just in this second half for the Crows. They haven't had the run that they had early in the game. Most of their big guns have gone missing, and for the Tigers, guns like Cochin have started firing. Even Miller has had an involvement in the second half after a horrendous opening half. Just a one kick first half from Brad Miller. Rebo attacks that contest. Petrenko, Van Burlo, Petrenko hands it up. Oh, Brody Martin turns it over. The sub comes on, turns it over. Cochin okay. pokes it inside 50. Hurley, <laughs> Greg, it's a procession, oh, but he it. misses. Umpire's just blindsided the goal umpire, wasn't sure. Just making sure they get this right, and we will have video reviews for these situations next year. I reckon, ask the uh, Richmond players, they're all in the zone. I reckon that's a fair signal, it's a point. Doesn't take long to get it right. No. If they need the video, they've got it next year. The pluck from Tippett. Van Burlo. Short, oh, right. right, there's a goal. Douglas from the overlap. Tackled, but he got the kick away. Gunston marks 25 from goal. And so that is in the video review next year. Yep, the uh, AFL has consulted the rules committee and the coaches, and it looks like getting the tick. 24 minutes gone on the clock. This to cut it back to 28 points, five minutes left. We've just got to play perfect football now. It's as simple as that. Absolutely, and that just used the ball quickly. And this sort of run that has been uh, missing for such a long time. And uh, they were doing so well in that first half. But getting players out the back of the Richmond zone was a, a real issue in the first half for Richmond. They've tightened that up. And uh, this is the first time for about uh, 50 minutes of playing time that we've seen it. So just a sneaky chance, the Adelaide Crows. Adelaide have gone from needing six goals in six minutes to five goals in five minutes. 28 points the margin. Not many have left. Flick down, Tippett. Jackson. Cochin has the runner out wide in Morton. He knew he was there. Hands it back to Delidio. To half forward, Nahas falls. Ball still alive. The Tigers at least have it at half forward. Martin, a little fumble. Oh, well done, Martin. Dives in, mops up his little mess. He's in trouble now, though. Yeah, the crowd called for it. The umpire says you're gone. As a team, as a coaching staff, you wouldn't mind that one. He works very hard to get to uh, get the hands on the ball. Otten wants to go to the open side. With a good spread again, plays out the back. There's a chance again. Vickery punches it down. Hurley was there. Armstrong cuts it off. Goes. Five goals in four minutes they need. Goes. Van Burlo. He's got Gunston Long. He's got John Cock. Gunston the target. And he marks. And the strike. seconds continue to run. Well, he's, the, he's the player you've won in the hands because he's on top of his game. Four goals straight. Eight marks. Probably needs to just put the ball on the ground yeah. and take ten seconds to stop the clock firstly and just grab a breath. Twenty-two point margin strikes it well, gives them hope. Absolutely, and they just steal that chance. Yeah, he put down uh, in the book, uh, he can score a goal per minute, and that just still gives Adelaide Crows a chance. Armstrong, good work. He held his line and uh, stayed, kept his body in line of the ball and took possession and just set up this forward 50 entry. Van Burlo just kicked the ball almost a little short, but uh, in the end, it had enough weight to get to Gunston. And importantly, he finished the job. So another clearance here, you never know. Chance for a NAB Rising Star nomination. Jack Gunston with his game today, four goals. And boys, Andy Ontons has just gone down the race for some attention. Four goals, three and a half minutes. 
That's the equation. Thompson shuffles it out. Van Berlo extracts the clearance. Down to three and a half minutes. Chased down by Delidio. Gets there first. Sloan corrals him to half forward to Webberley. Sub and he's given them Good something. Smother. smother. Back alive. Lays a tackle on Van Berlo. Ties it up and that was big. Three minutes, 16 on the clock. Yeah, it was well done from Van Berlo to come back and take possession. And then uh, Webley to wrap up in the tackle. It was uh, good work as well for the Tigers. Tippett slaps it to the wing. Thompson should get there first. He's a little spent, though. Greg, slick. Jackson sees Rebold on the march. Rutten right with him. That was a good kick. It's still a win for Richmond. Well, down it is. Two minutes, 59. So what and Adelaide, four now. goals from the lead. So what they'll do now, they'll get all their numbers compressed into this half of the ground, which will make it nearly impossible. Well, Adelaide got to run like, the risk yeah. and rip the ball over the top, into the corridor. Martin caught. Rebold. Jumped on. Umpire might pay ball here. No. <laughs> Besides not to, he thought about it. Jack Rewrite in a bit of yep. strife down there. I think uh, there's a knee in the middle of the chest. I think Damien Harwick's gone down to the bench too because he can sense uh, one of the best wins of the season for his young Tigers. Yep. Down on the bench now, Damien. Well, well, this well, will be their eighth win of the year after just six wins last year. In fact, eight and a half it'll be this year. Edwards can't bring it around the body enough. And more importantly, Dwayne, three in a row. Yeah. They've got North Melbourne next Sunday night to... Really finish off the season with the four in a row, which would be fantastic yeah. for the young players it's, and their confidence. You say finish off the season. That game is the twilight game and does finish mm. off the 2011 season. Rutten heads wide. Tippett has tried hard. He needs to play on quickly. Don't go back over the mark. Just well, get the ball moving. Tigers have only won two of their last 15 games against Adelaide Crows and only three of their last 18 at Amy Stadium. Walker looks inboard. Ball alerts Douglas Hurley, bounced onto it, not sure about the kick. Edwards makes it work, oh, well played. Greg to Jackson, and he oh, runs away. Tackle. Hands it just over the head of Nahas. Riley feeds onto it. But we're down to two minutes and they need four goals. Dangerfield, Vince. And just inside 50, Riley takes the mark, wants to play on. He wants to play on, he oh, turns it over. Needed to give the hands on the outside. It was right. It was just jogging into space. 25 metres out from goal. And for the most part, that's what's let the Crows down. The, the decision-making. Executions yeah. hurt them as well, but decision-making in the second half. Graham pushed out of that contest. Oh, and Vickery stands tall again. You talk about... We know he's got a lot of talent. You talk about games where you gain a lot of confidence. Forget the goals. Out games. <laughs> Forget the goals. He kicked four. Found the ability to come back after subluxing his shoulder, which is a lot of courage. Well done. Miller thumps it on. Discipline move. And Miller's experience there. Just get the ball towards the boundary line. Graham will uh, be here. No, actually, Rewald will take the ruck contest here. He wants Graham to jump over the back against Jacobs. Adelaide will remain 14th on the ladder and still a chance for their worst ever season in the history of the club. They finish next week at the West Coast at Patterson Stadium. Playing the pressure from Richmond in the second half. It's been absolutely outstanding. Now with 24 points up in the third quarter, the Adelaide Crows and look to be running away with it. And the Tigers showed immense courage. Sloan to right. Open goal square if he wants to go for it. And he doesn't. Nice the pass. He'll get this back right. Wants it. No, Gunston's going to back himself. He's got to go for it. He's got five. Absolutely. For number six. And surely a NAB Rising Star nomination. From just outside 50. It's sailing. And it's all the way. Oh, it bounced over not. the line, didn't it? I think it bounced back. Oh, <laughs> can you believe that? And that's the tale of Adelaide's last half. Morton hands it back. Delidio. I was sure that just bounced over the line. I think it was a half a yard short and it's torn back from 50 metres out. Tigers are on the way back as a club, perhaps. After finishing 15th and 15th the last two seasons, 
They are finishing 2011 strongly. They've won three games in a row and could still finish this season 10th. Eighth win of the year for the Tigers. And they did it after coming from 24 points down. 17-19, 1-21 to 15-9-99. Yeah, really good win in the end for the Tigers, and they've had a good three weeks. The Sydney Swans was impressive, the MCG, and then it was uh, last week against Melbourne where they were well down at stages in the third term. So to bounce back again two weeks in a row from being down is a good character-building win and certainly some really good signs. Great signs as we head downstairs. Glenn Jakovic is with one of the stars of the show. Welcome back, Jacko. Thanks very much, Dwayne. Well, I certainly have got one of the stars of today. 27 possessions and one goal. Trent, uh, well, it was a game of two halves. Adelaide certainly in the first uh, half, and then you, your team took over. Yeah, definitely. We uh, were very disappointed in the way we'd uh, gone about it in the first half. Our endeavour wasn't really there, and well, luckily enough, we were still in the game, and we were able to turn the uh, tide in the, the third quarter and then run out with it in the last. You can see Damien Hardwick certainly wants to finish the season off really well. I've never seen him so animated and angry at quarter time. That spray was something to, uh, I guess, uh, listen to. Yeah, uh, last week's was pretty solid, but he uh, definitely backed it up with that one. And uh, it's good that a young group can uh, respond to something uh, from the head coach. And I suppose it's just the respect we have for him uh, as a coach. What was the belief at half time? Because last week, your third quarter was very good against Melbourne. You certainly got back into the game. Um, and then today, uh, you certainly outscored him. Ended up with 37 scoring shots overall. But what was said at half time? Uh, we just spoke about going back to uh, the way we wanted to play and our, our physicality and intensity at the contest. Um, I think our endeavour to get to the contest was OK, but we were really fumbly and that gave them an opportunity to get out the, the front way and, and they were running all over us uh, going forward. So just to win that critical contest and then uh, get it going our way so we could press in. Well done, mate. Magnificent performance and I think your uh, teammates are waiting to go see your fans over beyond the goals. Well done, mate. Thanks, mate. Three wins in a row for the Tigers and a big chance to finish strongly with North Melbourne at Etihad Stadium next week. They've made the trip, the Richmond fans, and they've received the dividend.